Come in there. Biaba, come in. You want me to overreact, okay? You want me to overreact so that people can begin to carry my name around town saying that I have dealt with you in a very bad way. You want me to overreact. Why are you being very stubborn? Why can you just not do the simple task I have given you to do? Give me the information that I need, Eju. Why are you looking for trouble, Mokem? Charles. What? Do you really want to know the truth? What truth? Amaka. Why are you wasting your time talking to this root of a prince? Why? We have going all the important things to do in order to get to move again, Apale. Charles, I have respected you enough. What's going on with them? What's going on today? Obi, now it's too. Let one die. What's going on again? Obi, let one die. Let one die. Ha. You're finished. You want me to win, did you? You're finished. You are finished! What kind of nonsense is this? You. you think that you can abduct my mother's body in connivance with your sister and disappear in Wagen Kete? No way, one more will die. Ha! Charles, can you just stop? I will me? kidnap you when you're sleeping. Can you just stop? Charles, me? let me tell you something. You cannot do more than a dead rat can go in Zoku. ไอ้หนูน้องวันนี้ก็ชวนมีเว้ยน้าเพลงเสียงกูตกใจโอเคโอเคอันนี้ดีอันนี้ดีอยู่ที่โกนี้อันนี้ดีกี่ดีโกน
This is totally unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Really? So my husband, the king of this land, stood watching the almighty first son insults the queen. The almighty prince insulting his stepmother. Yet, my husband, the king, couldn't even do anything. Mom, brother Charles was not in his right frame of mind. Ignore him, please. You must be very stupid. Very, very stupid. What has been in the right frame of mind got to do with what happened out there? Did I say anything wrong? Mom, you shouldn't have uttered anything. Let's bury this issue. Oh, really? Because flogging it might result to another thing. Oh, really? In other words, I should have kept mute. Right? Look, go ahead and tell me. Right? And my husband, the king, is still not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Oh, Tina, I don't know what is wrong with my son. Until then, if I have anything to say, I will tell you. But for now, keep calm. Please. What? With all due respect, my husband, did I hear you right? That I should keep calm? I am sorry to disappoint you. I will not keep calm. Charles has been on my neck in this palace, yet you've not said anything. This time around, I will follow him hot, hot. I will give it to him. This palace will be so uncomfortable for him. Trust me, there will be no peace for him. You know exactly what I can do. Excuse me. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. You know, she was. She was fine. She was responding to treatment when I. When I came here last night, what happened? Honestly, I, I don't know how to say this. There was a situation last night, and I was called. In fact, I, I left my house around 2 a.m. in the morning. We tried everything possible to resuscitate her. We couldn't. And, and, and she gave up. I'm, 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 I'm so, so sorry. I am, I am sorry. I, I know how you feel now. And I, I understand. Please. Just hold yourself. Please. Father, I do not want you to start thinking about all these issues in this palace. Brother Charles has a character, so does my mom. I don't know why the both of them hate each other. I cannot see themselves as mother and child. I'm not worried. Don't bother yourself. I know something is behind it all. And I will tell you someday. So there is something behind this? I thought as much. But you are the king. If there is anything you can do to bring it under your control, please do, Father. Please. I will. Don't worry. I'll talk to my son. Thank you. Your mom was a very kind-hearted woman. Very lovely. For six months, she stayed here. She said a whole lot of things. We had wonderful conversations. She said deep things, good stories about you. She even made it very clear to me what really made her to leave the palace and even what transpired between her and the king. I, I don't... I believe you won't feel very bad if I'm telling you this. Truth is that I did not spend enough uh, time with my mother. Except for when I was really young. 
before she left the palace. And I remember her constantly coming to check on me at the palace because, you know, my father wouldn't let her take me. And I also have vivid memories of her coming to fight for me and protect me from my stepmother who my father married and she started maltreating me. Ah, this breaks my heart. I, I understand. To be honest, you're a man. Uh, thank God she had you with the twins that came and took care of her. But my question is, these twins, are they from the king? I thought you said that um, you and my mother had some time to talk. Did she not tell you everything? Doctor, you would agree that this is not a good time for this kind of conversation, but um, what I can tell you is that the twins are my siblings. Please, uh, now that I am still strong, let me see my mother's body before we take her to the morgue. I honestly want you to have this in your mind, and with all sincerity, with all modesty, you and the twins came from the same lawyer. That was what your mother told me. The only problem she has with you is that you so much believe in your father than her. Please, can I see my mother's body before she's taken to the mortuary? Or have you moved her to the mortuary yet? Not really. Probably not the twin brother came here and obliged for her body. And I had to. What? What, you? You allowed him to move my mother's body? Without my consent? I understand how you feel. He came in and, and paid the remaining balance. He said a lot of things that there is no need for us to keep her here. We need to move her to the mortuary. No, I'm sorry, doctor, but you're out, out of line. What bill did he pay? I brought my mother here. How can you grant that boy the, the authority to, to move my mother's body out of this place without talking to me? What is going on? But he is your brother. He is your brother. I, I still believe what he has. I, I don't... He didn't act, act out of the law. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. He should, I don't think it's, it's going to be a problem. I don't see it to be a problem. Taking your mother's body to the mortuary to avoid decomposing is not an issue. And I think you should welcome such. You should have been him. I'm so sorry. Call your brother, quickly. Why are you looking for Obina? What happened? Amaka, what's with the pretense? What is, what is this? Huh? Why do you sit there and act like you're not in on all of this? All of you, you, this old man seated here and your brother, stupidly connived to abduct my mother's body, moved her from the hospital where she died. 
Listen, I am going to have to arrest all of you. I am going to arrest each and every one of you for abducting my... On what authority did all of you take that action? On what, what authority, what gave you the guts to think of moving my mother's body out of the hospital where she passed on and took her somewhere, somewhere? I can't find her body. And I'm here asking questions and you're acting all innocent? Call your brother, get him out! Charles! Did you just say your mother? Did I hear you correctly? Did you just say your mother? Oh, I get it. She's now your mother. When you abandoned her, when you abandoned her cause, she was never your mother. You lived all your life abroad without any care for her. Do you know how mama suffered? Do you know how she toyed with a sickness that took her life away? Of course you do not know. And you stand before me to insult Uncle Ume. Mama's only brother that sold everything he has just to make sure that your mother was well. And when you finally came back to your senses, you took her to the hospital. Of course she died there. Is that what gave you the miserable gods to call me and ask for her body? I ask you, child, oh. oh, Call me miserable. <sighs> You address me as miserable, Amaka. You see the Kwagemma? Oh, I see that you have grown. Huh? Listen, the fact that my mother got you from that miserable drunk does not give you the right to stand in front of me and talk nonsense. Even if she got her from a drunk, is she not your sister? Mwanegi! It is the same cord that tied you in her womb. Tied her also in her womb. Well, there's no problem. You insulted me, but I don't bother. All I have to say is leave my compound. Leave before the whole thing will turn to a different thing. Uh, hold on. I am going to leave. Clearly, it's not like I like it here. I have come because you all connived to abduct my mother's body. Where is my mother's body? Tell me where you have kept her body and I'll just leave. It's that simple. Um, um, listen, we will discuss this when your brother comes back. Amaka came back from the hospital this morning. Elizabeth died in her arms. She doesn't know where the corpse is as I speak to you now. So please, leave. We will discuss this as a family and uh, uh, get a solution to it. Charles, you had the guts to lay your filthy hands on your sister's face. Thunder will fire you. Your praise and arrogance can only end in the palace and not here. This is not listen very good. I know how I suffered. I know how I was hungry for the sake of mama. I know what I passed through. I know how painful it is for mama to die in my arms. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you the so-called first truth? Where were you? Our mothers woke up on her. Where were you? This morning, all you could do is to come here and slap your sister that lost her mother. Just what did I do to you? Tell me, what did I do wrong to you? It's okay. <laughs> Amaka, you are going to tell that tout you call Obinna that I was here that I've come to demand that he takes my mother's cups back to the hospital's morgue where he moved it from that is where I want it failure to do so he is going to have serious issues with me and Omandim do well to tell him that I was here 
Um, where are you? Okay, okay, okay. Charles, who do you think you are? 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 You saw somebody that is mad, you want to, 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 to get mad. Huh? The behavior of other people to destroy your inner peace. To wear a soft man. Eh? Eh, Papa? What kind of a stupid character was that? Eh? That a man would walk into my father's compound, into your own compound, and insult my cousin. When I want to retaliate as a man, is he happier that he's a prince? You see, that we should let him be that he's a prince. Prince again, eh? eh? Prince who mock or prince who mad? Who does that? And then me, eh? And then me, eh? Hmm. Papa, what did Amaka do? He just drove in, not even to commiserate with his mother's family, but to start acting funny. I hate that guy with passion. His arrogance is overrated. Pico can't you can How am I even related to that monster? All this is the king's fault. He made the prince to hate this family. But time shall tell. When I was spending my hard and money, calling him to, to, to send money that his mother was bedridden. Did he care? I personally went to, 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 to the king to tell him that his ex-wife need medical attention. But he asked me to get out of the palace that I should never step my foot on that palace. Imagine. But I, never, I never did. I never did. Hmm? This boy don't know what he's doing to himself. I'm not even a man. Oh, 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 If he lies, eh, you should know what he's doing. If he lies, you should not. Eh? Oh, see, I'm not even a man. I'm not even a man. I'm not even a man. Eh? See, we can't even see Johnny. Let us touch him, so he 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 will calm down. Please, Anna, Anna, I'm not even a man. I'm being a no. Ichoko, Ichoko, Ibu, Mado, Ichoko, Ibu, Mado. I'm not even shaking. We're not even. We're not even. such attitude you portrayed out there. Please, please, please. Not now, not today. I have, I have a lot on my mind. I'm not, I'm not in the space for all of this. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this kind of talk, please. Madam. Will you be keeping away everything that is disturbing you? I saw tears dropping in your eyes this morning. Oh, shut up, love it. What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Why can't you stay away from someone you call a brother but doesn't regard you as a sister? Why are you forcing yourself on him? Why? Mom? Shut up, I said. You are my daughter. And you must behave like your mother. 
who doesn't give a hoot about whose corn is popping. Don't start this fire you want to ignite. When it flames up, don't run away. I have told you, don't run away. The anger is too much. <laughs> Here again in pains. Look at the tears streaming from your eyes. My God, your mother, Queen Elizabeth, what happened to her? My mother is dead. Oh my God. Ha! Huh. So sorry about that. She has been in the hospital, and you just told me a few days ago that she's recovering. I'm so sorry about that one now. Ndo, please. I now understand the pains in your face. It's okay. Just put yourself together and be a man. Oh, Ndo. I'm so good. So. Sorry. Your Majesty. Uh, Ijama, have you seen my son? Yes, Your Majesty. He's in his room. Sit down. Uh, did you discuss with him? No, Your Majesty. From the way he was behaving, I think something is wrong with him. He didn't talk to me. He just left to his room and said he wanted to be left alone. Uh, well, whatever. Um, uh, Ijama, listen. Both of you have come a long way. Both of you schooled in the same school overseas. So I believe by now uh, you must have learned each other. Uh, I don't know what he is waiting for. You are supposed to be married by this time. But that's not the problem. Uh, I want you to talk to him. Talk to him. The way he talks to his stepmother is not right. He should be mindful of the way he harasses the woman everywhere. It's not right. Talk to him. This morning I tried to find out why his mood suddenly changed and he couldn't talk to me. Could you imagine that? Your Majesty. Father. Father. There's a bad news. What bad news? The prince. Mother is dead. What? Yes. The prince mother is dead? No. Just sit down, sit down.
Daddy did not knock. Uh, need I remind you that my authority as a king extended beyond your room. And besides, you are not just talking to your father. You are talking to the king of Omona. As much as that is true, father, I do not wish to see or speak to you. At least, not now. Uh, that's not correct, son. I am not here to banter with you. I only come here to talk to you. Lord, can you please, just please, please, please. I beg you, please, just stop. Quit the pretense. For I am sure that your daughter, Love, hath already told you what happened. I know that deep down, you are happy. So you can go ahead and marry. Rejoice for your enemy is dead, finally. Just let me be. Oh, because I'm the one that killed her, right? Or maybe I'm the one that sent the sickness that killed her. Mind your language, son. Oh, well, I am not here for all this. I am here to talk to you. To talk to me about what exactly, father? Now you want to talk? I remember when I returned from overseas, I begged you, Dad, to talk to me. To show my mother mercy and call her back to the palace. But you refused and now you want to talk. And I say no. My mother is dead and... Father, my mother is dead and gone. Right? Let me grieve. Let me tear with my pain. And I think that we should all just stand back and see what comes out of this. Oh. Don't be stupid, son. You are talking to your father. Tell me what will come out of it. Could that be a threat or what? Now, let me warn you. Everything about her ends the day she walked out here. The only thing I had in common with her is you. And not those twins that she had from her adulterous drunk. If you want to grieve, fine and good. But not here, not in my presence. You must really think that you're talking to a child. We are talking about my mother here. The woman who gave birth to me. You can go on and talk about her. But I said not here. Go to her father's house. This is the least Tim, I need to hear now. Sad news, Queen Elizabeth. She suffered so much from this sickness. We cannot question the Creator. We should leave it the way we see it. She still remains our Queen to death. Mazi, you may. 
<laughs> you tried as a man to protect your only sister, who was married to the king. Even though their marriage hits the rocks, let us take it easy, as the Lord who created has taken. Why will he take my mother? Why will he take my mother? Why? Why? Why should he be my mother? Why? Why? The only woman I have. Why? Why? Why should he be my mother? Asabi, why oh, should he be my now, mother? Amaka, why? 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 It's okay, Amaka. Where is your brother Obina? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, baby. Maybe it's an emotionary, I don't know. I don't know. Hey! It's okay, man. Take heart, my daughter. Let me go to my shop. When the barrier is fixed, we will come as Omwada and accord her a befitting barrier. Inugo. Thank you. 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 has been deposited, uncle. That is very good. I hope the hospital bills has been settled. Yes, uncle. I have paid all the necessary bills. By the way, was just here this morning. That one. He came home and started shouting to the end of slapping sister Maka. Uncle? Amaka, Shao slapped you. <laughs> what happened? It has not come to that. Charles is your senior brother. He can get angry and misbehave. Amaka, it's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Oh, it's not okay. It's not okay. Charles doesn't care about us, Uncle. He was never there when we needed him. Yes, he took Mama to the hospital. But he never came to see her. He never bothered to know how our mother was doing. He never sent us money. And now Mama is dead. Just because he was told that after Mama left the palace, that was when she gave back to myself and Obina. That is just the cause of this hatred. That is why he hated us so much. That is why he hates this family. And now he wants the body to be taken back to the hospital. On what grounds, Uncle? On what ground? Was that what he said? Yes. 
He also said on whose order was the body removed from the hospital. No, but Hakuko, hey! Chan said all this and laid his filthy hands. His coarse hands on my sister. Hey! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah! Now, Pomune Uncle, I am going to that palace now. I am going to Bosra Palace this minute. Oh no, Amali Amaka, I must return it back. Obina, Obina, hold it. It is a taboo to fight a crown prince. We have customs and tradition. He is your brother and a prince. Don't go to that palace. The guards might injure you. The king hates you. Hates your mother and all of us here. He will do the unimaginable if he sees you in the palace. Uncle, let me die. Please don't go down. Uncle, let please, me die. Please, Uncle, I cannot please. take this. I cannot take this. Please, oh. Uncle, let me die. Uncle, what am I living for? Tell me. After all, Mama is no more. So tell me, what am I living for? Tell me what am I living for? Uncle, Charles has the guts to step in his foot in this compound and lay his filthy hands on my own twin sister, Awege Mam. Oh, well, I call her. She won't want them one year. It's a mum. Oh, good game of Mado. Oh, good, I will default. Uncle, I will kill somebody. I don't want to lose two people. Please, I beg you. I don't want to lose two people. Ah. Please. See, listen, let, 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 me just, let me just think about to bury our mother and forget about chance. Please, I don't want to lose you. The king pushed me out of the palace and said that he will kill me because I warned him against my treating my sister. That is the kind of person he is. Obina, listen to your sister. And everybody should calm down. <laughs> everybody should calm down. Obina, I'm asking you again, Obina, on whose authority did you move our mother's body out of the hospital mark? What did you say? I don't have the rights to ask that. Are you out of your mind, Obina? I am your elder brother! Ah! Is that so? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Obina. Germon, to listen to me. You are going to take our mother's body back to that hospital where she passed on. They have a standard morgue. Obina, you're going to do it. You are going to do it or you give me all the paperwork that you have used to move our mother's body so that I can retrieve her body. And I even know, do you understand what I'm saying, Obina? Obina, you are going to do what I have told you. You will do it. It is not in your place to move our mother's body without consulting me first. Wait for the beginning to see if there's something wrong with you. Hello? What is wrong with Charles? He is threatening me. Asking for the receipt I was given at the mortuary. What is he feeling like? Hmm? He kept Mama in the hospital and has been pain for over six months. Is that what he's entering his head? Is that why he's acting like this? I don't understand. What is wrong with him? I think he has a plan. But I don't know what his plan is. Listen to me, Obina. Do not disclose the name of the mortuary to him until he tells us what he wants to do with our mother's body. Do you understand what I just said? Oh, you are right. You are right. I think uh, that is what I should do. 
because I don't understand it. The threat is too much, like... Who is it? Yes, what do you want? Good day, my friends. Yes, good day. What is it? I want to serve you your food now. Huh. It's fine. I, I I don't have appetite. It's, it's okay. My prince, we heard you lost your mom, the former queen, and I would advise you to take heart and console yourself. You have not eaten anything since today. Thank you. Thank you. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. Yo go go. Come back here. Where have you been all day? I want to see my mother. Have you not been told to stop going there for whatever reason? Ah. Get out. I don't like the way you treat this boy. I just don't like it. The other day the mother came here spoiling for a fight. If you do anything wrong, correct him. He's equally your son. Stop slapping him, I don't like it. Do not give me those orders, your highness. The boy is very stubborn. Stop harassing my son. I won't take it again. Are you my son? I am fine, mom. <sighs> Your siblings, they are asking of you. And I told them that you will come and see them when the school closes. But the king said that I should not come and see them again. Your father said this? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Anyway, don't mind your father. Okay? Yeah. Don't yeah. mind your father. Obina and Amaka are your siblings. And I'm your mother. And you know I can never lie to you. Hmm? Yes, sir. By the time you grow up to become a man, there are things I will let you know. Hmm? Okay. Take this. I got this for you. Don't let anyone see it, okay? Thank you. Don't let anybody see it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. But mommy, one and two go to to stop beating me for nothing. And to go to, She's beating you? Yes. And to go to Who is she? To touch my son? Anyway, don't worry. By the time I catch her outside this palace, I will beat the hell out of her. Hmm? Let me see. Let me see too. Are you sure? Are you sure you miss me? Yes, ma'am. But my father told me that my mother left the palace 
and started dating a drunk which resorted to Obi Nanamaka. But my mother told me different. Who do I believe? Who do I believe? Because he never agreed that Obi and Amaka are his children. But why do I feel that my father is right? Why is the feeling so strong? However, I am going to bury my mother in this palace. Yes. She was the first queen. And she be cut a prince. She must be buried in the palace. Oh yes. If not, people would not even respect or regard me after my father's demise and I ascend the throne as a king. Queen Elizabeth will be buried here. Father, you are here eating, and the prince is stuck in his room. He has not been fine, and has refused to open the door this morning. And what business of yours is it? I don't understand. Love it. You mean, the first thing that came to your mind this morning, He's knocking on Charles' door. Have I not warned you to stop this, your closeness with Charles? Enough, woman. Enough. Is Charles not her brother? I don't understand all this. Listen, this fire you are stoking in this palace, when it eventually burns, Surely, it must surely consume you. Um, I don't want to say anything about Charles now. He's an adult. He has his life to live. When he's done mourning his mother, I will say something. Mom. Mom, please watch what you say most times. Brother Charles is the first son and we retain the stool after father's reign. Please, learn how to respect him as a son and prince. This time is definitely not when your newly married father and subjected him to all sorts of inhuman treatment. How dare you speak to me in that manner? Are you insane? How dare you? Mom, one more word I will break your head. Ugochi. Ugochi. Sit down. Sit down. Now listen to me. You are looking for trouble. And be ready when it starts. The anger is too much. On the quench in the fire. The anger is too much. On the quench in the fire. The palace is on fire. What are we fighting for? Everybody's running out there, scatter. What are we fighting for? Who's that? The hatred is too much. I get you see my king when I'm no man. Wait your for me and you. 
Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh. Um, I tried calling the prince and he hasn't been taking my calls. I hope all is well. He has not been himself since the mother's death. He even refused to open the door this morning. Unless you're going to try. Okay, let me try. Hey. What do you want to do? Listen. I will not have you walk around this palace as you like. You're just a girlfriend and not a wife. So wait for him till he comes out from his room. As for patrolling around this palace, it's totally unacceptable. Your Majesty, I don't think I have had time to exchange words or quarrel with you ever since I started coming to this palace. What's all this? What's going on? You're obviously asking yourself that question. I've given my orders. And it's final. Mom, what's happening? Father has told you to mind that lighter you are holding. Because when it will explode, I will be one side watching. EJ, let's go. You think I'm blabbing? Right? That's what you think. Okay, it's fine. Then you make a move. Come on, go ahead. Rush to Charles' room and tell him that you're here, please. There is no need for that. It's fine, I'll wait for him to call me, but, but please, tell your mother. That thing she's looking for, she will see it soon. Please, babe. I don't know what is wrong with her these days. I don't know. She even scolded me this morning on why I went to check on Charles. Eh? Can you imagine that? It's fine, it's fine, I just... I will talk to her, please. It's fine. Come down. Talk to your mom. Please, I will. IJ, please. Yes, come in. Yes. My prince, I understand you are going through a very tragic phase, but I have something very important to tell you. Something important, she said. Yes, my prince. Go ahead. Ijoma was here in the morning and I don't know what the queen told her and she left in anger. Please, my prince, call her and talk to her. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. I sneaked in to inform you, sir. How are you? Uh, okay, slow down, calm down, calm down. And that's why I'm calling, okay? I need you to please come back to the palace. Yes, immediately. I know, I am here, I'll, uh, I'll handle it. I promise. Please. 
Thank you. Thank you. Come, 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 come. Speak. What did this woman say to you? Speak! Lover told me she knocked on your door and you didn't open. She asked me to try. And as soon as I made the move, the queen asked me never to come here again. I was confused because I didn't know where that attitude came from. Yes, I said that. And it stands. What stands? What gives you the right to claim ownership in this palace? You must be very stupid to ask me such question. You know it's obviously not meant for me. Rather, for your late mother, who left this palace a whack. Hi! You dare to disrespect the memory of my mother. Who do you think you are? You are a little fry compared to my mother. Let me warn you. I am no longer that little teenager that you bullied around this palace when my father foolishly married you in here and you were acting a mess and no one cautioned you. Let me tell you, I am the crown prince of this kingdom and as long as that crown remains on my head, my woman, Ijoma, would come here whenever she chooses and no one will stop her. Be careful, madam. What was that? No, come on. What was that drama? Why did you stop him? Why? He would have allowed him to hit me. Oh, really? Charles, you've grown wings. Try it. Don't try it. And watch your soul rot in hellfire. Are you challenging me? Listen. My husband owns this palace. So, I decide who comes in or goes out of this palace. Lecture your woman. If she doesn't want to see worse things, trust me, you know exactly what I can do. No, I do not. But I tell you this your doomsday is near. You are not no more joker. On the man, they see you know the You are not no Mom, I don't like this. Mom, I don't like this. You oh, have to put shut up to this. Shut up! Get out. Mom, you have to stop it. You have to stop. Like this. The palace is on fire. Okay. What are we Everybody's right. And you couldn't wake me up. What is it? Where is that chess? He should be in his room, father. My king. If I don't have right as the queen and the wife of the king in this palace, I really need to know. I can no longer sit and watch Charles insult me on a daily basis. He does not have a single regard for oh, me. Oh, hold yourself, woman. Please, can you just come down? I have 
ugly deal with you. To stop challenging your stepmother, if there is any misgivings from her, report her to me. Why are you doing this? Why? Father, call that woman to other else. I'll be forced to clip her wings. She is not my mother. My mother came into this palace before her. You are my father. Tell me, how many times have you embarrassed Ijama? How many times have you humiliated her? Not even once. What gives her the right? What gives her the right, father, to talk to my woman like that? That woman is not just my wife, but the queen of women. She deserves every respect from you. Besides, she is a male woman, a woman. I have told you, you must tolerate and accommodate certain actions of theirs for you to grow as a man. I have told you that. Are you objectively trying to resolve this issue? Are you trying to be politically correct? I don't understand. What is going on? My son, I know you are saddened by the attitude she gave you when you were little. And that is the reason you are reacting this way. But son, it's not right. It's not. Love it. It's your sister. She's so fond of you. You love her so well. Tell me, how would she feel when she sees you? Embarrassing her mother in the way you do. How do you think I feel? Watching your wife embarrass my woman. You talk about respect. You say that I should show her love. I am hurting, father. I just lost my mother. Not even a word of condolence from your wife. Father, tell that woman to stay away from me. She is pushing me to the wall. Nobody is pushing you to the wall. Son, all I want is peace. Peace within both of you. That's all I want. Son, be a man. Talk to your wife. I know that you have been trying to reach me. I'm just a big mess right now. I'm sorry you haven't been able to see me until now. I'm sorry. Oh, of course, you know I was going to call you, right? But it's just me dealing with a whole lot all at once. Oh. My mother died unexpectedly. We couldn't keep her blood pressure down and her sugar rose and we lost her. I guess we slept and my mother died. I know I'm here uh, trying to see how I can give my mother a befitting burial here in the palace. And then I have my stepmother to contend with. And then you show up to me and this happens. It's, it's just me dealing with so much. And sometimes it's just overwhelming. Huh. It's okay. I know how painful it is. And that was why I kept calling. Babe, all you need to do now is to make sure the morticians take very good care of your mother's body and plan the funeral. How am I going to do that? My brother Obina has abducted her mother's body. What? 
immediately our mother died, he, he ran down there, settled the bill, and I moved her body to a different mortuary. I've been talking to him. I've been, I've done everything, you know, to make him understand that he has to at least tell me where my mother's body is. She must be buried in the Royal Cemetery. That is how it should be. Are you joking? I'm serious. <sighs> As I sit here with you, I do not know where my mother's body is. I don't know. B, please, just calm down. Just know that you have a lot to battle with. Especially that's your father's wife. She's a handful. She's the issue here. You know that woman dealt with me, huh? <laughs> you know, I remember one time I... I came back to the palace. I, I was much younger, you know. And then she slapped me. Do you want to know why? Because I had sneaked out to go and see my mother where she was staying. You know, she just... You know, Lolo thinks that this whole territory belongs to her. I don't know if my father gave her that impression. But she won't see me coming and I'm going to deal with her. No, babe. There is always a time to forgive. No, baby. There is a time to call a spade. A spade. You have to let go and live your life. Forget about it. Oh, that woman is like a bone in my throat. She has to go. I don't know why people forget that a child must one day grow up. Just forget it. Why has she been so mean to me? What's her problem? Calm down. Why would she talk to you like that? Why would she embarrass you that way? It's okay. She knows how much I love you and that's why she did it. Because she's trying to get at me. That's why. Baby, please calm down. Don't do this. It's okay. Okay? I just want to bury my mother. Give her a befitting burial. Make sure that I get a good spot at the Royal Cemetery where she would be buried. Are you sure your father is going to agree to that? He doesn't have a choice. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. I am his son. I am his blood. I am his first seed. And that's my mother, the woman who gave birth to me. I know that they are separated. But do you know that my father has forgotten that he did not take back the bride price after separation? So technically, my mother is still married to him. But right now, He's not thinking right because of Lolo. But it's my job to get his head where it should be. I know. I will bury my mother here, right here in the palace. I know, but you still need to speak with your father. I hope he listens. He will. Because I'm not going to change my mind. He'll listen. Come here, I've missed you. Missed you.
Cionie, ma. You have been my traditional prime minister for over 30 something years. I've been on this city. You are a great asset to Mona Kingdom. Thank you. I have equally drunk copiously from your cup of wealth of experience. I am ever so grateful to you. Likewise, it's your way, Lim, and it's you, Zoka. But suffice it to say that something is bothering me. Something is eating me up that I feel like busting out. May the gods forbid, my king. Um, you see, the difference between animal and us human beings is that human beings, we have uh, the ability to vocally share our problems and then get instant answers. That is not so with animals. Perhaps that explains the reason they always rub their back on, against a tree whenever something itches any part of their body. But where we are human beings, we beg on our fellow and tell them to scratch us if it is in the back. Scratch my back. My king, from the way you have been speaking, it is obvious that something is itching you and you need fellow human beings to scratch you. So let me ask, what is it that bothers my king? It's my son, Prince Charles. He has literally turned this palace into a war zone. One day, one trouble. He disagrees with me in every decision I take in this palace. And it is bothering me. Let us go into the exact bone of contention. We are here to commiserate with your royal family on the death of your late wife, Queen Elizabeth. It's not about Elizabeth or whatever. Thank you for coming to commiserate with me. You all know that Elizabeth was no longer my wife. For over 30 something years, we've not been living as husband and wife. So it has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Just aside, Charles has turned this place into a hellfire. He has made life unbearable for me. He has been so troublesome that I had to see my doctor over my blood pressure. Can you imagine that? My blood pressure was so high because of Charles. Charles has been having issues with my wife. He no longer listens to me. And I ask, is that how he is going to rule this kingdom, when I might have joined my ancestors. Your Majesty, I was under the impression that this matter, this particular issue, had been dealt with a long time ago. In fact, by now it should be dead and buried. Why is it all of a sudden coming up again? What happened? The whole thing started soon after his mother's death was announced. Just became an irritant. He became a rebel. Attacking my wife here and there. Please, 
I want you people to talk to him. Talk to him. It's your name. He is so close to you. Talk to him. Once again, your highness, I say, may the gods forbid. But let me make this observation here. Prince Charles is no more a boy. I mean, a son who will go overseas to study and come back like he did. It's not every son that can go to overseas to study and then come back like he did. Of course, I have constantly been on the phone with him, advising him on the importance of returning back as the crown prince to our land. So, Your Highness, we will talk to him. And then we hope he will listen to us. I also want to remind you that a child you remove his teeth will never forget how that teeth was removed. Yeah. And that is exactly what is happening here. Uh, we advise you to talk to your wife. Tell her to call the prince and tender an apology. At least that will go a long way. I know why I am saying this. What apology? What apology? Uh, Your Majesty, I've seen Charles shedding tears. And when I asked him, he said, my stepmother, my stepmother. Please, don't pretend as if you don't know what the issue is. I hate men who do my wife my wife. When the time comes for them to stand on their feet, you see them wanting. Our Prince Charles is no longer a kid. And all the rascalities that was meted to him is still in his head. I have every belief that the only thing that can solve this problem is I am sorry or please forgive me. That is just that. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh huh. You see, truth is like an erect manhood. You may try, but you cannot bend it. Truth is always standing strong. Well, Limia has just hit the nail on the head. And I tell you, Your Majesty, I stand with him. Yes, I do. Thank you. Ugochi is my wife. So what you people are telling me is that if my son just misbehave, Ugochi will just cross her hand and watch him. No, 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 no. It's not right. It's a stepmother is equally a mother. Take it to the bank or you leave it. Well, your Highness, we have heard everything you said. I personally will talk to Prince Charles. Again, I hope he will listen to me. Oh, you better talk. Thank you. Look at you. You see you. You're a very stupid man. It is today I know you're worth nothing. Give one. And that's for you. Follow, follow. I don't have your time yet. Now listen, both of you. You better stop coming to this palace. Since all you do is to advise the king wrongly. And that's for that apology you seek. Eh? That apology will kill you. I know you don't have respect to be pointing at titled men. I will not respond to your causes, but I know the gods will deal with you. When you go back home, tell your wife to apologize to those kids she scolded when they did something wrong. So it's been you all the while. Wow! So you're the brain behind this arrogant behavior of the prince. 
Really? Now listen, I know you hate me, but your hatred matters nothing to me. Nothing. Uh, hold on, hold on, Ugochi. Ugochi, wait. Why did you come in there to say this before the king? Eh? Look at you. Are you a war gecko? See where you're hiding, waiting for us. Listen to me. All we did was to try the best we could to save you from embarrassment. More embarrassment from the prince. That was the best advice you could give to the king. Your advice is worthless. Mm -hmm. It does not hold any water. And now let me warn you for the last time. If you don't have any positive contribution, don't ever come to this palace again. Mm -hmm. I will not warn you again. Huh? Old fools. What is it in now? No, you. Please, 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 Let us go. Let us go. I greet you. Uh, what are your Where are these children? Please let them know that I'm here. Amaka? Obinna! Amaka? Oh. Come, 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 come. Amaka, I've been standing here. Wonder why it took you. All that time to come out. Anyway, let me get straight to the point. Where is your brother? I gave a simple instruction. I told him to move our mother's body back to the hospital's morgue where it belongs. He is yet to do that and I need to know why. Do you expect me to answer you? After what you did to me the last time you came here? Where is your brother? Where is... Uh, okay. Charles, mm -hmm. are you ordering your slave? Hmm? I heard you came here the other day and the laid this your filthy hands, this your leprosy hands on my sister, Alan Apoy. Have you lost it? My name is no. A matcha potan no. Na matcha ale. You want your respect. I see that you have taken alcohol this morning and you're already drunk and that is why you're talking to me like that. So I ask you, Obin, do you not have any kind of fear in you? Another I told you. Charles, afraid. Afraid of you. Give me Charles. <laughs> oh, because you're a prince. Hmm? And you raise your shoulder so high. Nobody like you. Forgetting the fact that I, Amaka, and even you are from the same womb. Right? Your father has money and sent you to read abroad. Why Mama was abandoned in this house till she died. And you want me, <laughs> Obi Nangobikili, to release Mama's corpse to you. <laughs> Charles, you are dreaming. Okay. So I see where your troubles are coming from. 
Inferiority complex. You have a problem with my good life. You have a problem with the good life that my father has given to me. My father is a king. Your father is a drunk. Did our mother not tell you the truth? You should know your story by now. Come on. There is no way the king was going to accommodate all of you. If that is your problem, we'll deal with that later. But for now, provide Mama's corpse so that I can bury her the right way. Listen to me, Charles. For your information, we are not interested in your father's royalty. Yes! And let me tell you something. We will not sit down, watch you take our mother's corpse to somewhere we do not know. It will not happen. Our mother instructed us that she must be buried here and there's nothing you or anybody can do about it. Oh, so you're challenging me now, huh? Huh? You can call it whatever you want, I don't care. But it is the family's decision and there's nothing you do about it like I said. Charles! Did you? Charles Gente! You came here, you stood before me to call your brother and sister children of a drunk. Is the king a drunk? Eche, there is nothing I have said here that is out of context. Our mother, at least we have that in common, has a royal link. She was married to the king. She belongs to the palace. I'm her first seed. It is only fitting that she is buried at the palace cemetery. <laughs> Charles. Isisia, I have told you that earlier. Hmm? You are dreaming. Oh, because you're a prince. All the time you will raise up your shoulder. Iga Zobu, Ozobuleini, Mountain Mufa, right? Let me tell you. Hmm? I am ready for you. Forget these things you used to do every time you be raising shoulder. Like the former president of Uganda, Ndi Amin. <laughs> Not for me. If you are ready for us to die, I am ready for you. We shall see. I'll be back. Chance Balo, bro. I am this compound again. One because if I call, eh? I am ready for you. Obina, I'm back. Break the sky, I'm back. Why will you go? Hey, I'm here. Now somebody should hold me. Yeah, Obina. Now I'm not the same. Somebody should hold me. I go kill somebody. I go kill somebody. I go kill somebody. I'm going to come back. Here. You are not my daughter. Charles, what? Are we following? Are we following? Okay, for again. All right. You just say you can't get that night. Had you are for? Excuse me. If you want to go, I'm about to make you think it. I'm about to make you go wrong. I'm not here. If you don't mean what you talk, you say you. You know that my boy ain't keeping. We ain't got no. Oh yeah, they're quenching the fire. You see how that woman was running her mouth? Hi. Look, she has lost every respect I had for her. And I'll, I know what to do. <laughs> I will personally call the prince and advise him on how to handle her. By the time Ochi the honor, I'm going to match his own book. I'm not going to name it. But in the actual sense, what do you expect? Someone whose father was a Panwai Tapa. She has forgotten that I was the person who recommended her to the king. And he married her. Now she has the gods. The miserable gods to talk to me the way she wants. Just because I told her the truth, don't just worry. I know the prince will cage her more. He must surely cage her. Of course. When I was telling her to mind the way she was treating a young man, young boy whose mother was sent out of the palace, she wouldn't listen. Now the king is calling us for a meeting. Don't tell, just tell me. In our community, Mohanura, Ebe Puisi, Osolun, Onan. That is it. Uh, she has not seen anything. She has not seen anything. Yeah. She has not seen anything. That's what I'm telling you. She has not seen anything. In fact, let her pray to the gods that the king may have long life. 
Otherwise, if the king falls today, hey, I know Charles very well. He will drive her out of the palace overnight. Oh, my kid, you want to go? Oh, my son, oh, my, 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 oh, don't mind him. That is what his wicked father told him. But don't judge him on that. Because very soon, he will come back to his senses. See, I want to advise you to give him the receipt of the mortuary bill. Let him go to the mortuary and collect his mother's corpse. He is the first son of the king and the first son of Elizabeth as well. He has every right to demand for the body of his mother, as tradition demands. Ha! <laughs> Uncle! Uncle, after all these sufferings, Uncle, after all my mother has been through. Ha! The same person that called us children of a drunk is the same person you are asking us, Uncle, to give out our mother's body. To go and bury in that palace. A palace they chased her away shamefully. A palace they humiliated her uncle. Ha! Obina. Uncle, my mother told me that if she could not make it, let her be buried at the back of this house. That here is her father's house. Obina. Uncle, why are you telling us to go and bury oh, our mother no. in the palace? Where to Obi, where to Obi? See, let me tell you. Nobody is denying the fact that your mother is from this house. And from all indication, she can as well be buried in this house or compound. What are you saying? Are you hearing me? We must sort out things with the prince. Don't mind his arrogance or his stupid behavior. He has forgotten how many times I've gone to the palace to warn the, 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 the second wife of the king on his behalf. Now, look at the situation. But, but that's his life. That's his life. Uncle, there's nothing anybody is sorting out with anybody. Listen, I have saved enough money for my mother's burial. Let the prince be a prince in his father's palace and allow us bury our mother. Let him allow us bury our mother peacefully. Mm -hmm. We don't need his help. And so how was the function. It went beautifully well. That's great. Darling, I'd like to speak with you. Uh, go ahead, I'm out ears. I know we have to talk in private, Dad. There is no external person here. We are one family. So Go ahead and talk to me. Dad, when I say private, I mean just you and I. Does your privacy require something that my wife shouldn't know? Absolutely. Uh, uh, leave us.
Um, Dad. I want to kickstart plans. What to set plans in motion? I want to get people together to bury my mother, Queen Elizabeth, and I thought that it's only proper that I let you know. Charles. Dad. So, this is the privacy you are talking about? Yes, Dad. That you asked my wife to leave? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I am extremely disappointed. What's my business? Go ahead and bury your mother. Or do you want me to bring the roof of this palace because you want to bury your mother? Dad, how can you say it's not your business? She was your wife. She was your wife, Dad. Huh? She was your wife before she died and I'm saying that we should all come together so that we can give her a royal burial and you're saying it's not your business. Why? Oh, listen. Don't make it look like it's a big deal to bury your mother. It's your mother we are talking about. Not my mother. Go and bury her. She had other kids from her drunk boyfriend or whatever. Ume is there too. You people can come together, bury her the much the way you want. And don't get me involved. Dad, I don't like your tone at all. We are talking about my mother here. My mother lived in this palace as a queen. She was your wife, father. She was your wife. You cannot trivialize this matter. She had issues with your mother and she left this palace. These things happen. You cannot say it's not your business. Listen, Chas. I have tolerated you enough. Don't allow me to do something that you will not like. That you are my only child and heir apparent to the throne does not mean this throne cannot be shifted to another clan. Don't dare me. Your mother was never part of this palace. The very day she left. This is not enough for you to get up and get angry, father. What have I done that I've asked that you Pay your final respect to a woman that you marry. Dad, my mother will be buried right here in the palace because she belongs here. I am her son. I am her blood. She still has ties, even in death. With royalty, we are going to do right by her. But if you're saying that it will not happen, then I'll tell you to sit back and watch me. You're wasting your tears and you said it's nothing. Sister, no amount of tears can bring Mama back. I've not forgotten the things you told me when I lost my mother. It suited me. Put yourself together. Let's know how to do this barrier. And by the way, I saw the prince on my way coming. Was he here? Because we don't have someone to speak for us. Because we don't have someone to speak for us. 
they left mama. She fell sick and died. If only Charles had come to her aid earlier, mama wouldn't have died. If only Charles, our mother wouldn't have died. And now she's dead. He wants to show us how powerful he is. He wants to show us that he's royalty. He wants to show us that he can do anything he wants. Okay. Let him come and take our mother's cups. Let him come and take our mother's cups. Let me see. Sister Maka. You can't be crying because of Prince Charles every day. Where was he when Mama was sick and needed medical attention? Biko, calm down. All will be well. Look at the things I bought. You asked me to get them. Eh? I bought everything from the market. Please, let's go to the kitchen and cook. Oh, my yoma, Adam, it's okay. Please, please, it's okay. It's okay. Biko, hmm? Mommy. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside and cook. It's okay. Sister, it's okay, please. It's okay. 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 I want to know who has been feeding that boy with deceptive flatbites. How can a son wake up in the morning and take a decision without putting on his thinking cap? Oh no, you are aware of what transpired between me and Elizabeth, my first wife. How she was so disrespectful to my mother that saw her exit from my palace. See, does he think I will accept every of his decision? Hook, line and sinker, it is not possible. Current nonsense. Well, your majesty, I think it is only natural for him to behave the way he does. Especially now that he is still battling the loss of his mother. You see, Prince Charles being the son of the dead woman, wishes that he buries his mother very close to him. Even in this palace where hopefully he will someday become a king. That's the only thing I see there, my king. And you think it is possible in my palace? Your Majesty, let me officially come straight forward. Queen Elizabeth, your first wife, the wife of Iwe Umenka of Umanakendam is dead. It is the most popular news in our community as we speak. Myself and my position as the traditional Prime Minister of Omona Kingdom, I received the news firsthand. I was merely waiting for the appropriate time when this very discussion will take place. Remember, there was a time we come here for the official condolence. Though in your wisdom, you decided to report the eccentricities of your son, which we actually waived. But I think now is the right time for us to handle this matter. Charles wants his mother buried in my palace. When he said that first, I thought it was a joke. But 
But he stood his ground. How dare he? Anyway, uh, let me make my stand clear to you. Oh no. If anything happens to me, the gods forbid. Go ahead. That woman must not be brought into this palace. Uh, well, Your Majesty, uh, Prince Charles has every right to discuss issues with you as the father. And in my opinion, he should know when you are giving him the audience. Not in this case. Not in this case, Uno. He shouldn't have tabled it in the first instance. Anyway, uh, the reason I call you is to reaffirm my stand on this issue. Should I go to bed tonight and do not wake up in the morning? You will wake up. You will wake up. That woman, that woman's corpse must not be brought into this palace. I, I don't know if I made myself clear to you. Uh, absolutely. He went on no more joker. On no man ne suya no via. He went on no more joker. Obina. Obina. Why is Obina? Why is Obina? He's sleeping. Okay. Where's Obina? You're standing there. Come on! Where's Obina? Where is your brother? Okay. Out! Today! Today you are going to provide my mother's cups. Today! Right here! I have given you enough time. I have taken enough nonsense from you. Today! Today! Charles, you again. What is the matter with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Eh? Anytime you like you, just bounce in here. What is wrong with you? Anytime you open like you, just bounce in here and be displaying all manner of nonsense here. Until Charles. you provide my mother's cops. Charles, leave this place. No, I leave this place. Charles, turn and go and beg. Okay, where are you? Okay, where are you? Okay, where are you? Okay, where are Oh, you need. Get down. Get down, motherfucker. Charles, I'm. Ne koku, ne koku. Oh, so now you're calm. Ine kuzi konya wala is what I need. See, okay? Let us talk, yeah. Oh, now you want to talk. Charles, let us talk. We are brothers. You must really think that I'm choking with you. Welcome. Today, I want you to move my mother's body from where you hid it and take it back to the hospital's morgue. In the living neku, am I very clear? I am going to blow your head off. And I, Dala, I'm talking, and you pushed me, brother Charles. Please. Don't kill my brother, please. Just give us some time. We'll tell you where our mother corpse is. Please, I beg you, please. If I hear my name one more time, I will blow your head off. <laughs> the only reason I have not put a bullet in your head is because you are my mother's son. Who do you think you are? Obina, don't make your blood hang on my neck. The next time I come here, tell your brother to return my mother's body to the hospital morgue. Peer by game. If I have to come back here again because of this matter, Oh, 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 oh,
Everybody's running out there scattered What are they fighting for? Yes, you know they are going to be I'm going to suck you up I would have killed somebody. Yes, yeah, eh? I'm going to tell you this. I was expecting you to hold him, so hold him from the ground. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Will you just shut up? Shut up! You were just here begging him now, you want to kill somebody. And he's, he's with, a, uh, with a gun. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you now. Let somebody hold me. Let somebody hold me. Because I'm going to tell you. Let somebody hold me. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. I want to. Uncle, I think I will have to go to that palace. I need to go and see the king. Because this insult and embarrassment must stop. Otherwise, I will take it to the next level. Obi, now, wait, Obi. Wait, Obi, oh. Does it mean that uh, 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 Charles came to this compound to foment trouble again? I am sure he was on high drugs. Uncle, if not that, he's of the same womb with us. Hmm. What I will do to Charles, eh? I will scatter him. Papa, this is getting out of hand. Something needs to be done. He can't continue coming here to look for trouble. Ask me. You need to see Miss Campion for safety today, Papa. Chelo, is it a must that he will bury a woman he abandoned for years in his father's palace? Is it a tradition, one name? What is his concern on this? Ask me. My sister asked me, oh, what is his concern? I, I don't just understand Prince Charles. They said we are children of a drug. And you still want the same woman's body that you said cheated on the king to get me and, and, and Obina. Uncle, come to think of it. I've been wondering what Prince Charles wants to do with our mother's body. Eh? Because from the stories I've heard so far and the stories Papa told me, ha, nah, Prince Charles is wrong at this point though. Yes! He's wrong. Um, but I suggest we call for a round table meeting. Yes, to sort this out. Hmm. Because what I saw today, hmm, Papa, I see more trouble coming. Oh. Hmm. I am ready for that trouble. I am ready for that trouble. The king said that we are not his children. Our mother, the queen, was chased away from the palace shamefully. Uncle called the king to come and collect back his bride price. The king refused. Uncle still called the king to come and explain what his sister has done to him. He locked up. What is Prince Charles looking for, if not trouble? What is he looking for, if not trouble? Because why I'm saying this is, I will have to scatter his head. The next time you will step in here. Listen, listen. All of you should calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. I assure you that I will see someone. And after that, we will know the next step to take. Because I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. No, Papa. If you see what our eyes saw today, you'll be shocked. Now, if a Diego Meta, something terrible happened today. If we were to go to Webia, if you see the gun he came with, hey, hey, it's not funny. It's not funny. Hmm. There is fire on the mountain. Hmm. Serious fire, I get you. The prince doesn't like seeing the queen. Mm -hmm. And the queen doesn't want to see him with her two eyes. So father and son are having serious issues in the palace. Hmm. Isn't it evident? All I know is that there is war looming in this palace. Serious war. I beg. Ah. So all this one we will gather for here. So, so nobody get the regist. Huh. Uju, even you. Huh. OK. The prince lost his mother a few days ago. And he blames the king for everything. As a matter of fact, he had wished if his biological mother was not driven away from the palace. Hmm. I pity for him. You may be correct too, but <laughs> that's not the real matter here. Hmm. Oh, wow. 
What I heard, uh, the queen made the prince mother leave the palace. And the prince hate the queen with passion. Ever since then, the queen has been treating the prince so bad. See, I'm, you're not here. I make shifts. Ah. I also heard that the prince has a brother and a sister by name Chiamaka and Obina. But the king is not their biological father. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Hey. Those rumors have been trending, but all my years in this palace, I can't, I can't really tell for sure. What's the rumor? Rumor is rumor. Hmm. Nobody knows. Is there any other story apart from the one we just said? Uh, if not, you people are my... You understand. Mm. Uh, okay. Let me tell you the main story here. Yeah, waiting. It's not even about the queen or the prince or this one so we didn't answer. The main cocoa is that the prince wants to bury his mother yeah, in this palace. Ah. And the king said no. Yeah. yeah. The prince said almost <laughs> you people have not even heard itself. He don't swear while well, lie that he must carry his mother's corpse to this palace and even perform the traditional rites. Can you imagine? Okay. You see, Oma, you truly have a major issue. Normally, no. Well, we will see as things unfold, but the prince should listen to the king the more. What are you saying? Hmm? Oh, wow. See, <coughs> see, 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 see. As for me, I support the prince. Exactly. I go bury my mama for a year mm -hmm. and no two ways. I mean, no two ways about it. When we came, I will push you down. I can't I can't Toro, Toro, I blame you. I don't see anything wrong with the position of the prince. He wants to bury his mother in his own father's palace. Mm -hmm. After all, the woman was a queen. We all know what happened and why she left the palace. The king's mother never liked her and she has been rooting for this Ugochi. But the king preferred Queen Elizabeth. And as soon as she had the opportunity, where she was having a robust quarreling with Queen Elizabeth, the young queen pushed her and she fell down. It becomes a taboo and Queen Elizabeth left the palace. Did she do any other thing than this? Oh, exactly. Oh no, that was exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. We all know the true story. Yeah? Queen Elizabeth pleaded and pleaded, but her pleas fell on deaf ears. Even her brother, Ichume, brought a she cow with which he pleaded on her behalf. Yet, mm, the queen mother said no way. Because she was in total control of her son, the king. Oh no, if the prince decides to bury his mother in the palace, let him go ahead. Yes, it is not against our tradition after all. It is not. Well, I too told the king that his son has come of age oh. and that uh, he desires such a traditional right, burial right, for his mother. Do you know what the king told me? What kind? He told me that even if he is dead, that such a thing will not happen. So my question is, how do we carry a man with broken waist? Go to a gauge for you for water. I have we able. Oh no. Why do you ask this question as if you are a child? We all know the writing, and that writing must be done. Mm -hmm. He has the right to bring his mother back to the palace. Yes. Remember, he thought about this, but the king insisted based on his reasons that the woman had other kids when she left the palace this made me to withdraw about this but now that 
the son want the mother's body to be entered in the palace. I don't think anybody can stop him. No, the man with the broken waist must be carried. But that man must be carried. There is always a solution to every situation. Well, as the king makers of the kingdom, I think what we should do is to summon the king and his son and talk to them in the language they will understand. I, I want to believe that the king will listen to us. Hmm? Now you are communicating with us. But formally, you are on your own. Uh, if we must listen, all you will do him. We put him there, we can't remove him. It is a about. I can't you see my king when I'm no matter. Wait your foot in the door. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, where is your father? He left early this morning to Okito's house. I heard him talking about his palm tree. But he should be on his way back. Uh, I will wait for him. Uh, okay, sir. Let me wait for him. Thank you, sir. You can continue what you are doing. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Ichum, are you serious about what you are telling me? Did I speak to you with a noise in my mouth? Hmm? See, he has been coming to my place, threatening to kill his brother Obina. Even Amaka, the younger sister, is not spared in the, in the whole confusion. Hmm? That is why I say I have to come and see you. So that when I take my action, nobody will blame me. There is fire on the mountain. Eh? You mean that uh, his brother took the corpse of Elizabeth from the hospital? Uh, to where, if I may ask? Uh, that is what I don't know. Because I have not bothered to ask. All I'm saying, hmm? is that uh, King Gomenka bluntly refused all the pleas from me and my little sister. And you know how hard I have tried to resolve this issue. But all fell on deaf ears. Now, his son want to carry the body of that same rejected woman to the palace. It is not going to happen. Oh, mame. Well, <clears throat> your visit is not a futile one. And uh, I will talk to the prince about it. But I will also let you know that even the king does not agree with the plans of the prince on this matter. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, let us see how it's going to pan out. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, uh, I will want you also to relate what we have just discussed to Mwele Maluzoka. I do just uh, that. Concerning this development. I do just that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I am no more an in-law to the Igwe. For a decade. So stop using that acronym for me. Never. An in-law remains an in-law for life. Okay. Don't use because of the way your family was treated. Mm -hmm. And the now saver being an in-law to the Igwe, how do you mean me? At least, your sister's son is now a full-fledged man. And now he wants to correct the wrong thing happening in the palace. 
What is he correcting? Everything. That he wants to kill his younger ones. And uh, come into my house to cause havoc up and down. Uh, uh, listen, listen. I was just coming from Iche Onyema's place. Mm. And I told him to reach you. Because what is coming will cause an earthquake. Uh, I, 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 I'm confused. Oh, give me name. The only thing I'm aware of was the fact that he wanted to bury his mother in his father's compound, the, in the palace. And I supported him 100%. What are you supporting, Mwelim? I am among the cabinet chiefs. But I stopped because of the way my sister was treated. You, 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 you know everything. So how can he just wake up and start demanding his mother's body after all he and uh, the king have done? Uh, but uh, he has been the one taking care of his mother since he came back from his studies abroad. Yes, he took his mother to the specialist hospital, not even chemist, before the mother finally died. Or are you telling me that I'm not hearing you correctly? Has he been coming to see his mother when he was of age? Hmm? And the king told him of how his mother was impregnated by, by, by a drunk. And he hated his mother. Now, come to think of it. Before he left to school abroad, has he for once come to see his mother? Not uh, only when he came back and got back his senses a bit. Because he still refers to his kid siblings as children of the drunk. Uh, 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 um, uh, you see, in life, when a child realizes that there is nothing like a mother in the whole wide world. He blames himself, himself for everything. He said, children are easy to deceive. And that is how the king deceived his son or his mother. Well, I've spoken to the prince since he returned from abroad. The need for him to go and take care of his mother and he listened to me. I still have every belief that one day he will find out that his mother was a humble and noble woman. So let us handle this issue with ease. Yeah, uh, uh, Ichi, uh, I heard what you said. Thank you. Eh? Thank you very much. Uh, but um, talk to him to stop coming to my place to cause trouble. Mm -mm. Me too. <laughs> I will do exactly as you said. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Kevin, I come all the way back. I can call you when. See, look, I can't leave you, baby. Can you come and dig? It's your room. I'm going back out. It's your room. I'll go, Kevin. I'll go. 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 Your father has taken his stand on this issue because he told me that whether he is alive or dead, that the remains of your mother, Queen Elizabeth, will not enter his palace. I know my father is joking. He's not joking. <laughs> your father remains the king and the custodian of our tradition and culture. So he deserves some respect. Which is why I have told him about my plans as it concerns the proper burial for my mother. You see, in my position, as you know, the traditional prime minister of our kingdom, I am the only one saddled with the responsibility of educating you on our traditional royalty and how it works. You see, your late mother Elizabeth, she remains our queen. 
even at death. But you have to convince your father to agree with you and see reasons with you. You don't have to use your strength. As the crown prince to force him. Otherwise, he's not going to work. Oh no, I can tell you confidently that it is going to work. We are talking about my mother. The one who gave birth to me, the one who is still a queen of this kingdom. My prince, no one is agreeing that with you. But I'm talking about your father. Your father needs to be convinced and we need his consent while he's still alive. You see, there's this um, parable by our people which says that you cannot harvest mushroom from the trunk of a tree while he's still alive. Your father is still alive, my prince. Oh no, why are you saying that my mother's body should be disposed without proper burial? No, 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 I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that you have to convince your father. Because if you don't convince him, your mother is not going to be buried in the palace while he is still sitting on that throne. <laughs> uh, I see. Mr. Wadu, you want me to beg him? I appeal to him. Okay, I will do as you have said, even though he already vowed that my mother would never be buried in that compound. Good. Even if he's dead. Good. So this will be tough. <laughs> Good. And again, um, your uncle, Ichiyume was here. He complained bitterly about your rascality towards your younger ones. Again, my prince, I appeal to you to take it easy with them. Calm down. With time, we will get to the root of the whole matter. Well, no, well let me ask you, in all of this, sincerely, Do you see things from my perspective at all? Do you... Do you understand where I'm coming from? Do you understand the reason for my fight? Hmm? I think I do. I do. Dialogue is the whole thing. There is this saying that a man who establishes his Argument with shout and the threat it shows that his reason is weak. There's no time I will advise you to go be belligerent, but at the fullness of time, when we get to the bridge, we cross it. I asked you that question because all you have done since I came here is tell me to calm down, take it easy, be understanding. And now you talk about my uncle and my siblings. My siblings are young. What if a farmer? They know nothing. Their actions are prompted by emotions and not reason. Um, it would interest you to know that they have connived with my uncle to bury my mother in that compound. And I say no. Oh no. How will I look a few years from now after I must have been crowned king? Oh no, well, what kind of king will I be when I ascend the throne and it is said that I am a king whose mother was not buried at the palace cemetery with other fallen queens because I chose to be a man of peace. Umbana. Eh? Things must be done right. Queen Elizabeth must be buried at the palace cemetery. Hmm? I heard you. I have seen the angle you are coming from. Uh, I thank God that you have observed that your siblings, they are still young people. They are doing things out of emotion, not out of reasoning. That's the more reason why you yourself 
who is on the side of reason, then we must embrace dialogue. At the right time, I think reason will prevail. Thank you, my friends. Why is Charles finding it difficult to reason with us? Why? Obina, Charles doesn't see us as his siblings. As a matter of fact, he believes we are product of a drunk. Even when Mama was alive, he usually say that, remember? But Mama will always tell him not to be saying that. Mama will always tell him also not to be listening to his father. We may not be of the same father, yes, I know. But we have this unchangeable fact that we are from the same woman's womb. He should bear that in mind. Obina, Charles has unforgiving spirit, like his father, the wicked king. Of course you know that, right? Amaka, I love Charles. I always see myself in him. I respect him. <laughs> but for what he's demanding for now, I will give it to him to the last. Because I can never allow my mother's body to cross that palace. Never. What he's demanding for, I will never grant it for him. Ejimam, number one, Charles doesn't love you. Number two, he doesn't see you as his brother. Number three, his heart is miles apart from yours. Listen, what we should be talking about right now is how to give Mama a befitting barrier. And that's all. Let's forget about Charles. But, um, you said you have some money, right? Yes, I do. But let us not make noise about it. And let's tell Uncle to stop allowing people visit him for now. See, after Mama's barrier, then we can go get a, a casket, get her a, a fine costume, bring her here and bury her so that we can stop all this quarreling, fighting. I am tired. Never! I'm not going to say this now. I'm going to you, Don't say this, please. I can never bury my mother as a slave. Amaka, Mama is a queen and she must be buried as one. Don't be afraid. Mua, afraid? Afraid of who? Charles? Not in this life. I'm not afraid, just that I'm tired of all this fighting, quarreling and... I'm tired. Huh. Well, Amaka, let me tell you. Even if it results that Mama's body will remain in that mortuary for 20 years, I can foot the bills. Even if he wants us to tear this kingdom apart, I am ready for him. Obina, my mother's body can never be in the mortuary for 20 years. Never! What are you even saying? Listen, it is not good for a corpse to be in the morgue for so long. It is not good. Let us look for a way and bury Mama so that our soul can rest in peace. Amaka, don't worry. She will rest in peace. Go to the Queen's room. Tell her I want to see her and my daughter immediately. Okay, Your Majesty.
My husband, he sent for me. Father, your mood is not right. What happened? Uh, call Ijama, Chassis' fiancé. Tell her I want to see her here first thing tomorrow morning. Father, I will. But you need to relax and tell us what is troubling you. Oh, call her now. Ijuma, my father wants to see you first thing in the morning. I don't know, my dear. I don't. Tomorrow then, tomorrow. All right, thank you. What's her response? She'll be here in the morning, father. That's all right. The anger is too much. Onya dey quench in the fire. Mom, I think something must have happened. Maybe Brother Charles spoke to Father Rudley. Of course he did. Charles wants to kill my husband. All of a sudden, he came up with the issue of his mother, a woman that left this palace so many years ago. He wants to use his arrogancy to manipulate the king and I. But trust me, I will never allow him. Mom, bringing her body, burying her here means nothing to me. Is she going to start dragging anything with you? Allow him. Please. I'm begging you. Is that what you think? A woman that hated me so much. A woman that said so many evil things about me in the past. You want me to allow her body into this palace so she will start tormenting me spiritually. Is that what you want? Mom, does that happen? Of course it does. And I will not allow myself to fall a victim. No way. Peace will be better. Cause peace is liberty, tranquility, do not let uh, I know he must have poisoned your mind and said all sorts of things against me. He has carried on with lots of propaganda against my person. How I just his mother out of this palace. Oh well, I am not interested in all this. The reason I called you is because I heard that both of you have gone a long way in your marital arrangements. He told me he loved you so much. And that both of you will spend the rest of your lives together. So, very soon, you will become a queen of Omona Kingdom. And that is when I must have joined my ancestors. And he has done a lot to fan ambassador of discontentment. Talk to him. He is your best. He will listen to you. Talk to him to drop this needless adventure he's about to embark on. Uh, 
have I made myself clear to you? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Your Majesty, the Prince has never said anything bad against you. No, he hasn't. He has his reasons he wants to bury his mother here in this palace. Have you listened to any of his reasons? Well, young girl, he has no reason whatsoever. And besides, I did not ask you to see me. For you to lecture me on the rudiments of traditions. No. Neither did I ask you to come here to banter words with me. Mm -mm. Charles's mother was never part of this palace. So I don't care where she is buried, but definitely not in my palace. Uh, advise him. He listens to you. He told me that he is in love with you. He will listen to you. Talk to him to drop this needless adventure that will soon consume him. Have I made myself clear again? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. I'll speak with him on that. Good. I'll see him immediately. Well, you can go. Point that out to her. So if he marries her tomorrow, they will know their place in this palace. I've been worried on this matter. You need not worry yourself. As long as I remain the traditional ruler of Womona, that woman's corpse will never enter this compound. Uh, Father, with all due respect, you can you cannot say that. That's my mother you're talking about, your first wife. Your queen in this kingdom. You cannot disrespect her like that. My mother will be buried in the palace cemetery. Please. I, I, I please tell your wife to stay out of this matter. I am still dealing with all that she did to my mother and, and I in this palace, so please tell her to just stay away. I am going to see to it that my mother is buried the right way. Queen Elizabeth will be buried the right, right way. And let me see who stands in my way. You lie. This is my husband's house, and it will never happen. This woman, what is your problem? Why would you be the one to respond to me? My father is still alive. This is not your business. Mind your business. Stay away from me. Mom, what is going on? so someone cannot enjoy peace in this palace. Allow Brother Charles to bury his mom in peace here and let the sleeping dog lie. Will you shut up? How dare you? If I hear you repeat that again, you have me to contend with. Anyway, what are you still doing here? Will you get out of this place? Get out! This place. Um, Your Majesty. Please. This is an issue that can be settled as a family. This is nothing. It's just a matter of understanding. Uh, 
my dear, I approved your marriage to him. And it stands. But on the issue of Elizabeth, his mother, no going back. I am a first class traditional ruler. I know the tradition. I have traveled widely. Tradition remains tradition. But just can go anywhere, look around and get the best cemetery to bury his mother. But definitely not in this palace. I disagree with you, father. Tradition is tradition. We have to follow tradition, father. You don't, you don't make the rules and break the rules, father. You're not INEC. We have to go by the constitution of this land. And the constitution of this kingdom says and states that the queen of this kingdom must be buried at the palace cemetery. You don't make the laws and break the laws. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You don't make the laws and break the laws, father. No, I am going to bury my mother as tradition stipulates. I'm not the docile and lazy people of Nigeria who will let evil leaders bully them around, make laws and break laws and everybody just folds their hand. No, I am different. We have rules in this kingdom and those rules must be followed. Else, heads we roll, father. Heads we roll. Queen Elizabeth must be buried. Right. Why will I bury my mother outside the palace cemetery? Tell me. Why will I bury my mother outside the, the palace cemetery? Why? What have I done to these people? If that happens, will my kids ever be free to walk around this kingdom without being humiliated? I ask you. Will I ever be able to raise my head high and say yes, that I am the son of Queen Elizabeth? Why? Every king and queen that has ever graced this palace as royalty have been buried at the palace cemetery after they join our ancestors. Why would my mother's own be different? I ask you, why would her tombstone be missing at the palace cemetery? What? Calm down, my love. Calm down. Everything will be fine. I strongly believe that everything will be sorted out soon. Just calm down. Please. Please. I want you to see all that is happening around you as a serious temptation. If you don't handle it well, a lot of things will be destroyed. The reign of kingship has been from this family. My father told me how your father was born and how everyone thought he wasn't going to survive. But your grandmother fought tooth and nail to see his survival. That singular act alone brought mother and child together. Your mother left this palace and your grandmother insisted that she must not return. Do not put all the blame on your father. Your father's hatred started when he heard of your mother's pregnancy. I was told you were seven years old when all this happened, so I was told. And in the tenth month, your mother put to bed. And see how you have narrated the story as if you were there when it happened. <laughs> uh, I see that you have been blessed with my history by your father who is clearly very knowledgeable. I mean, he, he knows quite a lot about my family and it's understandable. He's a man from this kingdom. A man who has been in existence long before I was born. You know the thing about stories and folklore? 
is that from generation to generation. Stories like this have been told. I do not want anyone to tell our children this story without adding that my mother, Queen Elizabeth, was buried at the palace cemetery to acknowledge her innocence. What innocence? My mother was innocent. My love, there is no smoke without fire. My paternal grandmother never liked my mother. So they were always at each other's throat in one day. And one day my grandmother had treated her badly and she reacted as she should as a human being. And that outburst led to her separation from my father because my father chose to take sides with his mother which I think is unfair. You don't marry a woman, bring her into your home. You promise to love and care for her and then you treat her like an outcast. And then when she reacts, you give her a bad name. My mother was sent out of this palace unjustly. A couple of months later, she gave birth to a set of twins, Obina and Amaka. That pregnancy is not a taboo. Who says that my father is not father to those twins? Who says? You should have studied law. <laughs> my love. My heart is heavy with so much pain. I know. You do? Please. Calm down. You have a lot to deal with. Just calm down. Okay? Come here. Come in come in. You want me to overreact, okay? You want me to overreact so that people can begin to carry my name around town saying that I have dealt with you in a very bad way. You want me to overreact. Why are you being very stubborn? Why can't you just not do the simple task I have given you to do? Give me the information that I need, Eju. Why are you looking for trouble, Mokem? Charles. What? Do you really want to know the truth? What truth? Amaka. Why are you wasting your time talking to this root of a prince? Why? We have going other important things to do in order to begin again. Charles, I have respected you enough. What's planning you with him? What's going to do? Obina, it's too. It won't die. What's going on? Obina, it won't die. It won't die. Ha. You're finished. Give me a wink again. You are finished. You are finished. What of nonsense is this? You. you think that you can abduct my mother's body in connivance with your sister and disappear in wagon kitty? No way, one more time. Ha! Charles, can you just stop? I will me? kidnap you when you're sleeping. Can you just stop? Charles, me? let me tell you something. You cannot do more than a dead rat can wear in Zoku. Charles, 
Shige, you could shoot. You are a f***ing for it, Charles. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here, I'm going to get your logo. You know? Let us go. Let us go. Charles, let me see you, eh? When are you missing it, eh? Ne man, I didn't back again. I'm very fake. I'm poor. I don't know you're bad. Everybody's running out of scatter. What's up? What did you just do back there? Why do you keep disgracing yourself in this vicinity? Have you forgotten who you are? Same father or not, they are your blood. Come on! Fighting cannot solve anything. Babe, dialogue will go a long way. Please, can you all just stop this? Can you just stop? Where is Charles? Oh. Well, I I got your message. Oh, sit down, Sammy. Uh, yes, I had expected you long before now, but I was told you stepped out. Yes, I did. How well, well, you know. <laughs> Uh, son, I call this meeting just for us to achieve peace in this palace. Peace is paramount. Peace is desirable. No kingdom functions properly without peace. And no palace can function well without peace. We need peace. You are my first seed, the heir to the throne of Omona. You will be a father someday, when I must have joined my ancestors to sit on this same throne to administer the affairs of your people and you must rule them with peace. Uh, 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 concerning the issue of your mother's funeral arrangements, uh, I want to support you with five million naira. So you can uh, do an elaborate funeral for your mother, but on one condition, that you will allow your uncles, her brothers, and your other brothers to bury her in, in her father's compound, so that we will attend to other issues that are so important to us, especially the issue of your getting married to a heart trouble, Jama. Because no same person with one eye toys with the other that is not available. Are you done, Daddy? Oh, yes, I'm done, son. First, I want to thank you for making an effort to have this discussion with me. Uh, let me start with Ijoma. Dad, Ijoma is already my wife. Oh yes, um, when I went to see her at her father's place this morning, uh, it would interest you that I sat with um, a few of the king's men from her place and they told me exactly what is required of me. which is not a problem. The only delay, however, is that the queen is yet to be buried. Daddy, thank you for the offer of the sum of five million naira. But no thanks. I don't need your money. I'm doing very well in business and you know that I can take care of myself. 
What I do not need is your money. What I need is your support. I need your support to bury your first wife, Queen Elizabeth, <clears throat> the right way, here in the palace cemetery, as it should be. Father, for it will not be said that I, Prince Charles, the heir apparent to this throne you sit on, would be alive and then my mother would not be buried at the palace cemetery where all the dead kings and queens in this genealogy have been rested. Daddy, if you want to support me, then help me bury my mother the right way. It will make me happy. It will gladden my heart. I have always known you as a man of your words. But lately, a few things have changed with you, Daddy. Why the sudden delay to do the right thing? Why do I sense this hesitation from your end? I don't know why. But I think I know exactly where this is coming from. I seriously do hope you're not referring to me. And if I was referring to you, what will you do? If I was referring to you, what will you do? Would you break the sky? Huh? What will you do? I'm asking you. You have done a lot of things. A lot of evil things. To me and to my mother. But I am going to shock you. I love you, Daddy. You know that I do. But I don't need your money. What I need is your support to do the right thing. Bury your first wife, my mother, Queen Elizabeth, the right way. Do things right, Father, and the peace that you desire would return to the palace. Hear that? Did you listen to him? No, no, it's okay. It's fine. My king, honestly, I don't like your silence. It is time your son starts addressing me as the queen. I've taken enough of his insult, and I will no longer tolerate it. Mom, please stop. Shut it. up! I'm not done. What is your problem? My king, please talk to your son. Enough is enough. Mom, please stop it. Allow daddy to rest. Why are you blaming him on this now? Why? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Are you insane? I'm asking you. Were you not here when he referred to me as the person planning against his mother's burial? Okay, no problem. That's fine. Let me sit and wait for that fool that will bring in the body of that work to this palace. We shall see. Excuse me. What are we fighting Everybody's running The fire is burning and I think I have to go and pack my bags and leave here. Eh? <laughs> Oshelever, mm -hmm. why do you say so? My mind is no longer at rest. There is no peace at all. Is that why you want to go? Yes, sir. Yeah. Have you seen where they are leaving football pitch when the game is just starting? Nice, yeah. Just wait till at least half time to know whether to leave or not. Hmm. As for me, yeah. I am here. This game just started. You know. mm. <laughs> game player. I heard when the prince was shouting. I still think it's about the mother's burial. You know, no get gist. Now, maybe the real cocoa. See, 
You want to go? Pack your bag now. Leave. Aproko. Yeah, now BBC. Aproko. Tell us. I heard when the king was promising the prince five million naira for him to go and bury his mother hmm. in her mother's father's compound. Hmm. And guess what? He said no. Uh -uh. Why would he say no? Yeah. The prince said he does not want the money, that he just wants to bury the mother in the palace cemetery. And the, que oh, the queen was shouting. Hmm. As for me, I will look. I am here. I will watch to the very end. So, look at the worker, they go my gate, I beg. So, where? And they go, they go, they go. All you know is open gate. For me, what you, Your Majesty, is doing is not right. If a king is being advised and he still fell on deaf ears, you use a basket and cover your face and loud your voice. Last time I came here, your wife Ugochi insulted me and Uzoka just because I said my mind. And I'm here today. I will still say my mind, but you have to warn her seriously to be careful. My wife? Yes, Your Majesty. Insulted you. Uh, Your Majesty. Why? What for? Your Majesty, please, please. I already decided to put this behind me. But we are members of the Igbe in Council. The entire body of this kingdom rests on our shoulders. Yes, Your Majesty, you know that. Igwe. We do not speak the minds of other people. No! We speak our minds and those of the people we represent. Yeah? Therefore, for a woman, a woman who must stoop in order to pass your reign, to insult me and my brother, well, ah, Igwe, it is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Uh, well, uh, I'm sorry about that. I wonder why she should behave that way. But how the same how how look into it. Uh, oh no, are you aware of this report? Uh, Your Majesty, uh, they actually reported to me. But uh, when I saw the the enormity of the workload on your table, I decided to step it down a moment really. Good thing that it has been brought up again. I still have to apologize. It's an abomination. She shouldn't meddle into the affairs of this palace. It's an abomination. I can't take it. Well, after this meeting, I must prove and get to the root of this matter. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay, Your Majesty. Let us move forward. Uh, Your Majesty, I will want you to allow the prince to bury his mother here. Because the woman remains your wife, even in death. She was a queen, and the queen's body deserves a lot of respect and accolades. We can't because she had issue in the palace and was sent away. Then at death, we threw away her body just like that. Igwe, Mwelimia is right. In fact, I stand with him. Yes, even the prince himself is trying to save his face if you consider it properly. Because tomorrow, someone may use the issue of his mother's burial to insult him or, 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 or to make problems with him. That is the truth. Eh? After all, if you consider it properly, Igwe, the mother's bride price was never returned according to our tradition, was it? But did I not send for his brothers to return the bride price to me? What else am I expected to do? Were you not away? Your Majesty, but your mother was larger than life. 
she was the person in control of the entire kingdom. And she insisted that you must not go and collect the bride price oh. unless they came here, which is against our custom and tradition. Okay. We all know the truth. And probably the prince has found out the truth. That is why he is standing his ground about his decision. Well, uh, Your Majesty, if I'm allowed to, to suggest, I will say that um, you have the final say on this matter. If you want her body to be buried here, fine. It will cost nobody anything. But if you don't, and then you, you, you stamp your authority on it. That's fine now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't use that language. Let me ask you. Was Queen Elizabeth's bread price returned? No, I'm asking you. Why didn't the king go and collect the bread price? I'm asking you. Eh? And you are here talking bonkong. I remember vividly when the whole king's men from Queen Elizabeth came here, did your mother allow them in? No, what is the meaning of all this? No, tell me, what was the offense of this woman? Okay. Eh? What was the offense of this woman? Oh no, answer. Answer no, this question. question answer. Eh? No, 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 all of a sudden you've gone deaf and dumb. Look at you. You are the owner of this kingdom and you are advising the king wrongly. Ichi Uzoka, yes. I want you to know that you are talking to the Onowu, traditional prime minister of Omona Kingdom. And by the way, your, your, your majesty, I suggest that when any Ichi is entering this revered palace for council meeting, I suggest that they smell the person at the gate to see whether the person is under Abnormal influence, more especially alcohol. Now, in oh fact, no, listen, listen, hold on, my brother. Excuse me, wait first. We'll start with you. Him. Because I know you always go to lick your wife's soup. That's why your wife, your, your mouth is yeah. smelling soup. Oh no, what? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Ndichia. You, you, you only think of soup in the house. You do not think of how you're looking like a terrified rat insulting me. Oh no. In fact, from today, you are on oh, no. Yes, you are on oh, no. Look at you. Me. Yes, me. You broke any head. That woman's body must not cross this palace. I've spoken. I get you see my king when I'm no matter. Wait your foot and you chair Ozaka. Imagine Ono being a two edged sword because of the few things he gains from the palace. He couldn't stand for the truth. A simple truth about a poor boy who is finding his way to glorify his mother, who was a queen. Well, you know what? To tell you the truth, what? I suspect that uh, uh, Lord Logochi is behind all this. I am telling you, Lord Logochi is behind all these problems. I don't understand. You don't understand? I don't know. <laughs> Make me to understand. Do you think that Lord Lugochi is, is, uh, is comfortable with this idea of bringing the queen's body to be buried in the palace? Don't you think she's the one on Igwe's neck over this matter? I think you're very, very correct. Yeah. Uh, but I have a plan. Uh, what plan? We will go and see the prince and discuss with him. Since his father has made up his mind, how do you see to it? I think you're right. Yes. Uh, shall we go now? Oh, uh, maybe later. Mm -hmm. Ayaka Kari and Limbura. Uh. We will go and we put our heads together before we know we put our action. Okay. We can't just come and start. Because it, in, the put, in the process of putting our heads together, we might knock our heads and uh, If we knock our heads, uh, I don't want to. Pretty 
Makego, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Where is your father? He's in the next compound. Please sit, let me call him. It's fine. is working on earth. Your Majesty, huh? this one you left the magnificent palace and then come to my Riketi house. <laughs> but don't forget, when a toad is running in the daytime, it's obvious something is wrong. My Queen, you're your father's daughter. <laughs> Papa, I'll be inside. It's all right, my dear. It's your ma. Wait for me in the car. It's your name. Mon Queen. I came to see you in confidence. I'm only yes. And also tell you that as we speak, I already transferred three million naira into your account. Yes. I want you to do everything within your powers to stop Charles, the prince, from bringing his mother's corpse into the palace. Uh, my queen, uh, you know as well as I do that the king's word is a law and he has spoken about this matter and he has taken decision. No. No, not yet. The king had a meeting yesterday with um, Ichie Ozoka and Ichie Mwilim. And it was said that the king is yet to collect the bright price paid on Elizabeth. Honestly, since yesterday, the king has not been himself. And I wouldn't want to see him dwell so long on this issue. So that's why I'm here. You are the traditional Prime Minister. I want you to use your powers. Do anything you can to end that nonsense, that propaganda. So, my Queen, the money you are talking about is in my account. Where is your phone? Uh, Mark Ego. Mark Ego, get me my phone immediately. Hi. What do I offer my queen? Eh? I'm okay. Hi. It is here, my queen. So count it done. Yes. I know I can count on you. Of course. Because you've never disappointed me. Of course, I don't want pananka. You don't leave, learn left hand dexterity in the old age. Obuzukichi <laughs> onema. And finally, I will advise you to extend little money to Obinanda Maka to help them hasten up their mother's burial. I would have loved to go there to see them, but. I don't know what will be the outcome. So let me mind my business. Don't you think so? My queen, mm -hmm. like I have told you, you need to go to sleep. Since this money is in my account. Look, the sage himself, King Solomon, in the good books, which is the Bible, he says, money answereth all things with this money. Count your wish done. You can go to sleep, my queen. It's your name. Hmm? You've never disappointed me. Nor will I ever disappoint you. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> hmm. All right, I should be on my way now. Uh, my queen, may I have the honor of walking you to your car? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, I will not forget today that the Queen, the Queen has just come tonight. Um, the king is very serious about his decision. He has even threatened to do the unthinkable should anybody dare him. So, I will want you people as a family to bury your dead in peace. I know that even the prince does not know his mother too well. Because I remember at a point he was even avoiding coming here to see her. It's your name. Amen. You are welcome once more. Thank you. See, what you have just said now is true. But the whole situation is still confusing me. Because I have a question. Why is the mother's body so important to him at death than when she was alive? Well, that's a, a question for the gods. But I do you know a former kingdom. My advice is that you people should start making serious plan on how to bury Queen Elizabeth. That is exactly the debt you owe her at this point in time. On my own part, I am giving you people 300,000 Naira. At least that will take care of the Umadha demands. Okay. I set my little token. Thank you very much. Oh no, thank you. Um, Oh no, thank you, sir. Thank you, no. But you see, I do not want any help from any member of the palace. I can bury my mother alone. Nga kwa unem. Obina! What are you talking about? Huh? We are talking of burial. And there's a lot of celebration that, that follows. Oh no, here! has supported with something. And we cannot ignore it. Oh no. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you very much. Ichi. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I should be on my way. Okay. Meanwhile, somebody should come to my house to collect the money. Okay. Okay. Hey! To where so oh, no, you. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a queen fowl. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a woman fan queen fowl. Let us leave anything that has to do with the palace and bury our mother. Is it too difficult that you people cannot understand it? Let us leave anything that has to do with Ono, Igwe, the prince, anybody related to the palace. Let us handle this barrier by ourselves. Brother, please calm down. We need the fund for this barrier. Even if it's the king that brings the money, they collect. Which king? King will give you money. <laughs> Which king? They're going to be a collector. Obina. Obina. Um, Chukuma. Hmm, Jajima. How are you? Oh, well, we are keeping fine. Um, I hear that you have just um, come into town. Where is you? Um, Chikuma, how I know these things, I uh, should not bother you. What's important is that you are truly back in town and I need a favor. Oh, yes. Okay, um, you are Obinna's closest friend and I believe that you can help me with information. Okay, so this is it. Um, I need you to help me unravel where Obina has taken my mother's body to. I need to precise mortuary where her body has been taken. If you're able to do this, I promise to transfer the sum of 500,000 now to you. 
And let me add that if at the end of the day I'm able to go there and retrieve my mother's body, I will be very glad to add to this offer that I have just made. If you give me one, there's something that you feel that you can do. Good. Thank you very much. Well, give me post it. Yes. Goodbye. So this is true. What? That you've been engaging your other siblings from the drunk father in a fight every day. Be it on the road, in the street, marketplace, name them. And I ask you, aren't you bringing disgrace to the throat of my forefathers? Now I overheard you come telling someone to help you locate where they dropped the dead bones of your useless adulterous mother. Uh, uh, hold on, please. Please, please respect the memory of my mother. She is still my mother. Even in death, she remains my mother. She has lived her life how she knew best. Maybe not to your standard, but dad. She's dead and gone, and it is what it is. And please, let me also correct this. I did not fight. I don't know where you got that from. I hate your mother. I hate everything about her. Of course, that's very clear. And I told you that even in life or in death, I will not have anything to do with her. So don't dare me. Oh, Father, I've been meaning to ask you, are you sure that you are not the village drunk that you constantly refer to? Are you sure that you're not the father of the set of twins? Are you sure that Obina and Amaka are not your children? Every woman is expected to give birth at the ninth month. But your mother left this palace on the tenth month and gave birth to those set of useless twins. So, even under my roof, she shits. Father, my mother kept sounding it in my ears that you are the father of Obina and Amaka. And now I want to ask you as my father and as the king of this kingdom, do you know this village drunk you constantly talk about? Have you met him? Have you seen him before? What information do you have on him? I mean, you are the king, you are supposed to know. Do you have any kind of information on this man? Don't ask me such a stupid question. Do you look at me and I appear to you as a child? Everyone in this village knows your mother was hobnobbing with one drunk from Amachala. Do your findings. And you think that the wife of a king would stoop so low to hobnob with a loafing village drunk that? Uh, well, I am not interested in whatever you do. Of course. Yes. Suit yourself. But let me warn you. Don't ever contemplate to bring the dead bones of that useless woman into my palace. If you like, you dare me. Mom was a very kind-hearted woman, very lovely. For six months, she stayed here. She said a whole lot of things. We had wonderful conversation. She said deep things, good stories about you. She even made it very clear to me what really made her to leave the palace and even what transpired between her and the king. 
I, I don't... I believe you won't feel very bad if I'm telling you this. Truth is that I did not spend enough uh, time with my mother. Except for when I was really young. Before she left the palace. And I remember her constantly coming to check on me at the palace because you know my father wouldn't let her take me and I also have vivid memories of her coming to fight for me and protect me from my stepmother who my father married and she started maltreating me ah, this breaks my heart I, I understand. But to be honest, you're a man. Uh, thank God she had you with the twins that came and took care of her. But my question is, these twins, are they from the king? I thought you said that um, you and my mother had some time to talk. Did she not tell you everything? Doctor, you would agree that this is not a good time for this kind of conversation, but um, what I can tell you is that the twins are my siblings. Please, um, now that I am still strong, let me see my mother's body before we take her to the morgue. I honestly want you to have this in your mind and with all sincerity, with all modesty, you and the twins came from the same lawyer. That was what your mother told me. The only problem she has with you is that you so much believe in your father than her. Please, can I see my mother's body before she's taken to the mortuary? Or have you moved her to the mortuary yet? My prince, please you have to eat something. You have not eaten anything lately. I know that you have a lot on your mind. Please, you have to eat something. me in this palace for over 20 years. You have served me well. My son Charles was a teenager when you came to live with us and the mother left. You know every nook and crannies of this palace. You hear when gossip came? We are here also when gossip we are flying around. You were here when love it. My daughter was born. You also aware what happened when my first wife left the palace. The problem between Charles, my son, and his stepmother. Well, let me not go into that because it is normal in every family setup, especially a real family like ours. Well, by extension, you are part and parcel of this household. Now, in all sincerity, tell me, am I a wicked king? No, Your Majesty. You are not. 
At least with your effort, my children are all graduates. You contributed tremendously in raising my kids and other things you have been doing. But my son Charles says I am a wicked king. Simply because I refuse to grant him his request to bury his mother in this palace. That's the only thing that is tearing this palace apart. Your Majesty, if you seek for my opinion, I will say the truth. Oh, what's the truth? Your Majesty, the prince has been going through a lot. He hardly eats anything these days. Last night when I went to serve him food, he was so deep in thought and I don't know if he has been depressed, sir. Your Majesty, please allow him bury his mother here. She was a queen and remains a queen oh. even in this. What makes you think I'll grant such request? Your Majesty, the queen had the twins 10 months after she left the palace. I am a mother. I have given birth to twins in 10 months because of complications. Please, Your Majesty, if you check well, you will agree with me that both of you has been sleeping together before the unimaginable thing that happens between the queen and your mother. She might be pregnant before she left the palace. <laughs> Dr. Ngozeka. <laughs> your Majesty, I am not a doctor, but I am talking from a mother's point. The anger is too much. On your girl, when she defies.
on a man, they say, I love you. You went on a man, Joka. On a man, they say, I love you. You went on a man, Joka. The anger is too much. On your girl, quench the fire. The anger is too much. On your girl, quench the fire. Go, 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 go. The palace is on fire. Go, 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 go. What are we fighting go, 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 go. for? Okay. So Everybody's running out as What are we fighting for? Go, 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 go. So go, 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 go. My prince, because of your closeness to me, your father is beginning to think I am the one who is controlling you. When there is absolutely no such thing. Why would you think so, no? Because he has seen us together in various occasions. Oh no. My father is a very rigid man. He is self-conceited, never listens to anyone. I do not think that that should bother you. My father only does things. He's made up his mind. To do. Thank the gods that you are beginning to see some of the flaws of your father. Don't do the same when you take over from him. Hmm. Having said that, I want us to trash out the issue of your late mother's burial. My prince, I want you to allow your uncle and your brothers to bury Queen Elizabeth, your late mother in a place of their choice. Because your father, I know, has made up his mind to the contrary. Oh no, is this why you invited me here? It's just one of them. But let us take it one after the other. Oh no, well, I have a lot of respect for you. Thank you. And that is why I run to you for guidance from time to time. But I see that you have started thinking and talking like the Gentiles. Therefore, I am going to stay away from you, Ono. You are a custodian of our culture and tradition. You know the truth. Yet you want me to bury my mother. Outside the palace cemetery, I have heard you. <laughs> Ono, I hear you. But we'll see how it goes. I was trying to see. hear me. You, you just veered off the tangent. You did not understand. <laughs>
you be serious with your job? Your duty is to supervise the maidens and other staffs. What is wrong with you? All you do is to gossip from morning to night. Next time I find you wanting, I will not only have you dismissed, but I will lock you up. Sorry, my king. Nonsense. And you? Your job is not only following the way around. If the food is ready, give, give it to the uh, uh, prince. Father. Father, my mother's portrait in my room is missing. Do you, do you happen to know who took it? Oh, well, I don't understand you. You have not answered my question, Father. I said I don't understand what you are talking about. Listen. If this sudden madness that has befallen you has said it again, get out of my sight now. I am not going to leave your presence without an answer, Dad. I said, I don't know what you are talking about. I have not entered your room today. Even if I see any portrait there, what will I be doing with it? You talk like this, father. I am talking about my mother's portrait, father. You talk like this. How can you be so insensitive? Father, if you talk like this, then you leave me no other object than to burn down this palace. I kept my mother's portrait in my room. Now it is missing. It simply means that someone walked in there and took it out. I need answers. Have you asked uh, the chef? Because they are the people that have access to your room. Yes, sir. Get me to other meetings now. Fast! Who among you removed the portrait in my son's room? Your Majesty, I have not entered the prince's room since this morning when I went to dress it. And he said I shouldn't worry. Even while I left, the portrait was still there, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, now I'm always confined to the compound. Those two for who goes in and com comes out of this palace. I don't have access in there. Your Majesty, the portrait was there when I left the room, sir. I don't know what happened to the portrait. Mm. So, the portrait suddenly grew wings and it flew away. Is that what you are telling me? I'll get to the root of it. Uh, you, you can all go. Father, I just might get to the root of this. Before you, if you do not act adequately, ask your wife about this portrait, for I am going to step my feet in the dark to unveil whoever is behind this. Ask your wife. Threat, I suppose. Anger is too much. Only the witch in the fire. Is your ma? Is your ma? Is your ma? How many times did I call you? See, something in me deeply tells me that you know what happened to that portrait. Yeah, I am, I am convinced that you know what happened to that portrait. It didn't just grow legs, not develop wings and fly out. Biai Kena, the king just summoned us once. Don't allow them call us the second time. You think you think I'm agitated? Now let me tell you. Even when he was when he was scolding us, I saw your legs shaking. Eh? Your heart was just pumping Did fast. Did you see my heart? Did you shakin. open my chest and see my heart? Don't try me, oh! And don't point at me. I'm not I your mean, mate. I'm not I your mean, mate. I'll deal with you in this battle. Don't I ever mean, try it. Have you suddenly lost your mind? Hmm. Nonsense. It's your man. You are the seer in the palace. After all, you are the one with the regist here. What exactly happened to the prince mother's portraits? That I don't know. You have to know. I, I do not 
even enter the princess room Mother the way you do. I don't. As a matter of fact, you should know better. Hmm. It's your ma. It's your ma. See, if you don't have respect, you should have fear. Eh? As Portugal didn't just disappear just like that. Someone in this palace took it. So what are you telling me? Hmm. Let's call the spade the spade. What ah. I know is that the prince is very, very angry. And I know he will do all he can to get who took that picture away from that place. Is it now our prince? I trust him now. Me, it's I not, it's not me. It's, it's not me. I'm, it's not me. I'm, it's not me. Anna, I'm not Your Majesty, this cold war going on between you and your son, Prince Charles, has gotten to the point that even our market women are discussing about it and the open market. I came to see you so that we can please end this issue. Do I care? Do I look like I care? If they the like, let them take it to the moon. I don't care. When his mother left this palace, it was celebrated all over the <laughs> new space. So, why would this one <laughs> be, be more than a breaking news? My only take is that that halotos woman will not be buried in the cemetery of my forefathers. No. You are the one stretching this issue, Your Majesty. How do you mean? You lack the spirit of forgiveness, even to the dead. Queen Elizabeth is a woman you married out of love. You ought to have forgiven her and allowed all these issues to rest. Is she unwilling? Your Majesty. I take exception to that. You said I lack the spirit of forgiveness. How can you say a thing like that? Listen, there is a limit to what I can take from you. Do you even know the weight of her crime against my mother? My dear mother? To err is human and to forgive is divine. This is an age-long poetic word and we must imbibe it daily. Allow your son to bury his mother and stop making our kingdom a subject matter in the entire state. You love your mother so well. So how then do you think that a son can just throw away his mother just like that? Even a mad woman's son take his mother home and bat her. I will tell you before I leave that you are fighting a futile war, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You are getting on my nerves. The only reason I will not walk you out of my palace is because of the position you are holding in this palace. Don't dare me. Your Majesty. Please. Withdraw those hard words before I leave. And if I don't, what will happen? I will not lead you astray, but I only advise you to end this cold war in your palace. I beg to leave, Your Majesty. I told you to strip Ichi Ewelim of his title, but you said no. Now look at it. Look at the kind of words he uttered before the king of this land. The other day he complained to you that I insulted him. So tell me, why wouldn't I insult him? When all he do is go about and gossip against this royal home. Ichiangwe Lim is a member of the royal cabinet. He has right to his opinion. Oh, really? So, if that is the case, why are you angry then? I have warned you. Stop meddling in the palace affair. You have no right over our palace decisions. I have warned you. 
Whatever I said to him, he is a man. He will understand. Uh, anyways, what happened to the portrait in my son's room? I don't understand. Which portrait? Queen Elizabeth's portrait my son kept in his room. Who removed it? My king, with all due respect, I refuse to be insulted. You are accusing me? Oh, come on. This question shouldn't be directed to me. It should be to the workers. What's my business with the portrait? You are raising your voice? No, no, no. Why are you raising your voice on me? Have I taken out the dignity in you as a woman? I only ask you a simple question. Hey, this is nothing. Do not let this have effect on you. Definitely your father will have nothing to do with that portrait. Either the Queen sent someone to get it, all in the bid to get at you. But hey, relax. You have the original copyright. You can give it to someone or give it to me. I will make a bigger one for you. What exactly is going on here? I need to know what is going on here. I mean, the port portrait was just, you know, it was right there. You know? Hey, baby. What are you saying to me? That I should forget my mother's portrait, just, just like that. Something very close to my heart. Hey, baby. This is not the mission, remember? What is the mission? This is just a way to slow you down. Let us just forget it and fight for your mother's place in this palace. I spoke with my father and he said, your mother has the first son. She never got married to another man. She had children 10 months after she left the palace. That means those children are your blood. You can go for a DNA test just to prove your mother right or wrong. Come on, baby. Please, let us just do this. Your father said that? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> You know, you just have a way of, you know, I don't know how you do it, baby, but you just make it easy. Huh? You make it so easy, thank you. That's why you have me. Yes. Thank you. Come here. So now, can my baby please take me home? No. I'd like for you to spend the night. Come on, babe. Do you want my father to kill me? No. I'm going to give him a grandson that looks exactly like me. And he's going to fall in love with him. Then you need to do the right thing. You. <laughs> I can't catch you off guard now, can I? Mm -mm. <laughs> You're mischievous, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for always listening to me. Thank you for being my witness. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Open a bag. What do you want? We want to see His Majesty. Go and tell him that the twins are here to see him. Okay, I'll come. Let go the hatred is too much. Oh. I get you see my king when I'm no man Majesty, I have two people at the gate. 
They said they want to see you. Mm. Bring them in. Okay. So, Father, who must have taken the portrait? Because I don't know anything about it. Don't bother yourself. I must get to the root of the matter. Such a thing cannot be missing in this palace. It's not possible. <laughs> On a man, they say, I know you were not a man, they say, I know you were not a man, Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Sit down. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Who are you? Um, Your Majesty, my name is Obinna. And um, here with me is my twin sister, Chiamaka. We are here to complain a serious issue to you. What is it? We are the children of your late wife, Queen Elizabeth. I am sure this is the first time you are setting your eyes on us. Our mother told us that you are our father. Uh, um, Your Majesty, please, that is not why we are here. We are here to beg you to please help us warn your son to leave us alone. Let him allow us bury our mother. He has been threatening us, saying all sorts of things to us, Your Majesty. Who has the possession of her corpse? Her corpse is with me, Your Highness. Boy, he has been disturbing us. He said he wants to bury her here in the palace. Bury her? I said bury her. Don't tell me when, where and how. I don't care. Just bury her. All I know is that that woman's corpse must not enter this palace. And now listen both of you. I don't want to see any of you anywhere around this palace. Am I well understood? Now get out. I said get out! Father, you are too harsh on them. They are the children of the former queen. And I've asked for your permission to go ahead. Ordering them out is not a good idea. Get out. Now! Who saw this? Suddenly, everybody appears to have gone mad. The hatred is too much. I get you, she's making one of my mother. So you've been going to your mother's family house, demanding to know where they kept the corpse of your mother. I thought you know. 
and you have been shouting, disturbing the entire neighborhood, the, this palace. Have you just seen them walk out now? I don't have a business with those people. I have my plans. They came here begging me to beg you to allow them to bury their mother. Is that all they came for? Charles, why don't you allow peace to reign? Allow them to bury their mother. Please. Dad, I want to ask you a question. After my mother left the pub, no, let me rephrase. After you threw my mother out of the palace, did you go back to her people to collect the money you paid on her head? Her brother refused to bring back the money I paid on her. But I wasn't bothered. Which leads me to my second question. Did my grandmother, your mother, ever kick their king's men out of this palace when they came here for that issue. I don't know why you are disturbing me with all this. See, who is even feeding you with all these lies? Who? The only thing I know is that I wasn't married to your mother. She ceased to be my wife the moment she left. That's all. It doesn't work like that. I hope you remember that when a woman leaves her husband and the man does not go to her family to collect the bride price he paid, but that woman remains his wife, even in death. That's not applicable to me. Uh, Daddy, uh, it's applicable to you because it is tradition. And that tradition has been in existence even before you were born, with all due respect. You cannot change tradition. You cannot twist the law just to support your cause and mission. As it is, you will agree with me that my mother, Queen Elizabeth, is still your wife. I know you don't want to hear it. Ugh, I get it. But Daddy, both of you are still married. She is still family and must be buried as family. Remember when I told you to call her back, bring her back to the palace so that we can all live as one big family. You refused. And now you see where we are. Hmm? So you would agree with me eh? that um, at this point we can rest this topic because the truth is staring you and I in the face. Charles, let me say this again. Your mother cannot be addressed as my wife. Even in death, I disown her. And I tell you again, Father, that you lie. Tradition is tradition. The law is the law. You cannot twist tradition to favor your mission. You are not INEC, Daddy. You cannot change the constitution of this land. And I tell you what, I remain obedient to my conviction. Take it to the bank. We'll see. The hatred is too much. Oh. My daughter, I invited you because I know you are the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth. And as a true daughter of your mother, you are supposed to be very calm in the face of all this brouhaha. Um, I don't like the cups of your mother to be used as a toy. Therefore, I advise you to convince your brother and uncle to bury her corpse and thereby put an end 
to this matter once and for all. Ichi, I am trying my best. But Prince Charles is not helping issues. Do you know that he stationed some cult guys around our house? Really? Yes! Some of them are as strange to me why some of them I know them. And I know his plans. His plan is to hijack my mother's body during the barrier. That is what he wants. Ichie, please, you have to help me. Help me beg Prince Charles to allow us bury our mother in peace. You mean Prince Charles stationed cult boys around your home or what? Yes, he did. I am so surprised that he is a cultist. Like I said before, some of those boys are, are from this community, why others are not? So tell me, what are we supposed to do? Anyway, my, my, my brother is doing something about it. What is he doing? Is he involved in cultism too? No, my brother is not a cultist. Uh, you mean uh, uh, Obina is not a cultist? Because two of them are your brothers. Ichi, I'm talking about Obina. Okay. Obina is not a cultist. Okay. You just want to involve the police and other security agency. That's all. I see. Well, this is a very important information. I am going to see what and what to do so as to secure your home. Only if you and your brother will pick up a debt and then get back to me. Okay, Chie, I've heard you. I will discuss it with my brother and get back to you. As soon as possible. Yes. Good. Okay, I beg to take my leave now. It's all right, but remember what I said. Pick up a date, you and your brother, and get back to me as soon as possible. Okay, sir. Eh? Chukwalu, Papa. Eh, if I may ask you, what is his main interest on this burial? Because I have noticed all he wants is for us to bury Aunt Elizabeth. Bury Aunt Elizabeth. Bury, bury, bury. Eh? Some of them that are closer to the palace will always do the king's decision. In as much as we are hiding the mortuary location from Charles, the king might not want us to bury Aunt Elizabeth at the palace, you know. My son, you are not far from the truth. King Omenka, I know him too well. If not for what Charles did, when the sickness started newly, I wouldn't fight along with him so my sister would be buried in the palace. I just ignored all of them from that royal house. Well. Ono said he will make sure that everybody is protected. I had to tell him our experience with the strangers mounted around this compound on a daily basis. Let's be watching them. My prince, it is over a month and some days that your mother died. If you people are not ashamed, I'm personally ashamed, especially on your father, the king. He was just there messing up the royalty here and there. The last time I was with him, I told him that even our old women that sells their opaka and dose are there discussing him and the royal house. But he was angry just because I told him the truth. My prince, what is the way forward? Well, um, nothing much. Um, it's just that I have... Um hired some men that I placed as strategic points at my mother's family house, because I do not trust my siblings. Um, those ones are willing to do all imaginable things just to fulfill their fantasy of burying my mother without my consent. I have also gone ahead to tell my father, the king, that my stance on this matter will not change. Uh, okay. In that case, I want you to do one thing, just one thing, something that will favor you and your father at the same time. Yeah? Go to the king and tell him that 
you have accepted to bury your mother outside the palace on one condition. There has to be a DNA test. Yes, to prove the paternity of those uh, twins. Please insist on that. Yeah, because your mother, you know, I'm her direct kinsman. Therefore, she confided in me that she was ready to swear with anything to prove her innocence. I know you might not have heard about this, but your father was insistent. In fact, he did not even listen to her. He kept calling her names. Eh? Insist on that DNA test. If it is negative, then you forget about the barrier. You know, knowing that your father is not uh, responsible for the kids. Eh? But if it is positive, aha, you put your you know what to do. Eh? Yes. You know, I never really thought about this, eh? uh, except that one time my my Ijoma, you know, talked about it in passing, but I didn't take it seriously. But hearing you talk about it now in detail, okay. That's very important. I'll go ahead and do what you have said. Yes, that is very important. But I want you to know that your mother is still legally married to him. Forget about his showing off eyeballs. It's all about trying to intimidate you. Mm -hmm. But now listen, when the time comes, we consult the tradition. Mm -hmm. If he has forgotten. Well, but do this very one first for us to get the true position of the twins because Queen Elizabeth that we all know was a good woman even in death. You don't hear again. I've been calling you all this while. Call it for yourself. Yeah. We look like to do it when you can bring your cup. Oh, come and tell you do it from here. Hello, my queen. Ichi Onyema, my personal person. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Everything is capacitic. How is everybody over there? They are fine. <laughs> so tell me, I, how far have you gone with the money I gave you? Have you given the family anything? Ah, uh, your majesty. As we speak now, Amaka the twin just left my house and I've given her some money to start getting ready. You see? Uh, and yesterday, I was with Ichi woman. I gave him some two million to start preparing. Although Amaka told me that um, Prince Charles has engaged the services of some cult boys to be monitoring their house. Uh, not to worry about that. Yes, I have informed the DPO. I've seen him and informed him about that. Eh? Good one. Listen. Do whatever you can to make sure everything is in place. Okay? If you need more money, just let me know. Ah, no, 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 my queen. Eh? You can just go to sleep. You, 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 you know how eff 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 efficacious I used to be. It's fine. Just let them know that the prince wants to impose that nonsense on the royal family. But we're against it, okay? I'm on top of the matter. Yes, I'm on top of the matter. 
pretty soon you will have some good news. Eh? My regards to everybody over there. The... Alright, bye. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my queen. Hey. Mm -hmm. Papa? Hmm? Two million. So your ear does not hear about money. You just hear you two uh, two million. You 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 you, you flap to your ear like a terrified uh, antelope. Huh? Two million that did what? Papa, give me this one. I finish this one first uh, of yeah, all. Yeah, I finish. Why are you people disgracing me? Is it not the same blood that flows in your veins? Force your brother Charles to conduct a DNA test on you and Obina to be sure of who your father is. And that will be the only condition to show him my body. After that, he can decide where to bury me. I just want him to be sure that you and Obina are his blood and not a product of a drunk like the king made him to believe. Please, I don't want to stay any longer in that mortuary. All my mates have been buried since. Please, bury me. Mama! 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 Sister, what is it? I, I, I saw Mama. She spoke to me. Mama! Sister, what are you talking about? You saw your dead mother. Yeah. Was it a dream? Sure, it will be a dream. Mama. She said we should go to Charles and discuss with him that she is tired of staying in the mortuary, that she needs to rest. I've not been myself since then. Ruth saw how shocked I was. The question now is, what do we do? Uh, Mama can appear on one's dream and express her displeasure. But the facts remain that I do not want Mama's body to be buried in that palace. Eh? Or did she also tell you that, that her body should be buried there? Did she? Yes, there was, there was no specification. She only told me that she needs to rest. And who will hear this meeting of seeing the prince? And because the only issue we have here is where to bury her. And that has not been resolved at the moment. Charles or not, she needs to be laid to rest. The prince is not in town at the moment. Mm. I would have suggested we bury her. But those boys are still hanging around. All I know is that we will do my sister's wish. I will put my ears on the ground till he comes back. Then we can proceed from there. But the major advice I will give everybody is I want everybody to remain calm. Peace will be better. Do not let the behavior of other people to destroy your inner peace. To they are twins, but I don't know if I'm on the right path. Sorry, who are you? Um, I am Amaka's friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to see her. There's something I need to discuss with her. Okay, they are my siblings. Yeah. Let's go. But I'm not sure if Amaka is at home because she told me she was going to see someone before I left the house. Okay, it's fine. We can go check if she's around. Okay. Then yeah. I'll also know the house. All right, let's go. Thank you. Okay.
My name is Ijomaike Madwako from Orom Village. I am the fiancé to Prince Charles. Here, yeah, so the prince has a fiancé. He's not married yet, and all he does is go around the village harassing my father and his siblings. Well, I didn't know you're connected to him. If I'd known, I would have spoken to you in the first place. Me, please. Calm down. Let everybody calm down. You don't even know why I am here. Don't mind my daughter. If she talked to you that way, it is because the prince has caused a lot of problem, especially after the death of my sister, Elizabeth. So take it easy, huh? It's fine. That's why I had to ask. Okay. Um, the prince doesn't know I am here. I came here on my own so we can come together and unite the siblings and bury their mother in peace. Nay, Biko, calm down, oh? All these things, all this fight here and there will not help. So let's just try to make things work. Please. I'm sorry. Just that what the prince has done to my father and my siblings has made me hate him so much. That's all wrong information from the king. So please, how do I see you being named, Amaka? Um, um, yeah. Go to Ichi Uzoka's place. Tell them that somebody wants to see them immediately. Yes, sir. Mm. Oh, Papa. Jekwasi, sir. Um, why not sit down? <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so, uh, I see. Are you sure it is not the same girl that uh, Prince Charles was carrying that day about the day he insulted himself? Come Ruth, describe her. Is she fair? Carrying ash? Describe what? You are going to the house to see the person and you're still asking Ruth to describe her. To know. Do you know what you are? 70 years old man. That is what you are. <laughs> Let's go. I'm open one now. Let us go. Are you not the same girl uh, with Prince Charles the other day he was fighting me? Uh, yes, I am. But he didn't fight you. Your brother is not a bad person. He just wants the best for his mother. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't say what will get me angry. What do you mean by he wants the best for his mother? Oh, we want the worst for our mother? Is that what you mean? Please, let's listen to her. For her to find a way, it means a lot. Be calm, please. Uh, she should talk properly. Uh, please, please. We are not here for argument. She told me why she came. The first one was that she wants peace. And the next one was that she wants anything that can unite the entire family. Which I want to. Okay, eventually. Um, I have dated Charles from our university days till we graduated. I know every story. I know everything. I know you are Amaka and you are Obina. This is Uncle Ume, Ruth's father. And please, where is Gidelfo? So you see, I know everything. Please, all I want is for us to bury Mama. She has been in the mug for too long. Biko. Um, one name. Eh? Let us just try to settle this thing. You all are from the same mama's womb. Eh? Well, um, thank you so much. Um, at least your words has calmed my mind down. But you see, <clears throat> my mother's body, our mother's body, will never enter that palace. 
it will never. Obi, Biko, calm down. What if you are the king's son? But we are not. We are not now. The king has said it himself that we are not his children. And your mother said what? Well, my mother swore with her life that the king is our father. But we don't care. We don't care. The king only saw us the first time, the day we went to ask him to warn Prince Charles to let us be. So tell me. And he also warned us that day that we should never step our foot in the palace again. So, how are we to call such a man our father? So between the king and your mother, who shall you believe? Of course it's our mother. Are you seriously asking us that question? It's our mother 100%. That's it. Then we need to prove it to the king that your mother is right. Come on, um, one name. Please, let us try to settle this issue. Are you all not tired? Eh? Adan Nebiko, listen to me. I will soon be your wife. And all I want is peace. Biko umu wanne mbiko. Eh? Obina. Please. Um, Uncle. Yeah. I'll be on my way now. Okay. So I'll come back again when the prince returns from his trip. Okay. Okay. Listen, I have some pan wine inside. Uh, Would you like to take some? <laughs> no. Okay. When I come back again, I'll take pan okay. wine. Okay. Thank you very much. Adani, Biko, I don't like this face. Please smile. Hmm? Obi, you're too stubborn. No? <laughs> Biko, oh, calm down. So, please, can you now see me off? <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Greet all of them. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> peace will be better. Because peace is liberty, tranquility. Do not let the behavior fall off to destroy your healing. Hi, Ijima. Hi, Princess. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Where have you been? I've been around. <laughs> You look beautiful. Thank you. I thought you traveled with my other brother. No, isn't he back? No, he's not. He even called me a few minutes ago. He was supposed to be back today, but he missed his flight. And he couldn't call to inform me. Anyway, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ah, he's calling. Oh, <laughs> take it. Hello, baby. I'm fine. All right. Yeah, I'm already in the palace. <laughs> yes, my love. Okay, bye. <sighs> so, is the queen around? Yes, she's in her room. Okay, because I would love to talk to her about something. In that case, do I call her here for you? No, no. I would prefer to talk to her in her bedroom because what I want to discuss is private. Let me inform her first. You know how she behaves. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm coming. Make yourself comfortable, okay? Sure, I will. said she would join you here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, what about the king? Where is he? He's not in at the moment. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no glowing, no. Uh -uh. Glowing where? Come yes, on. you are. My queen. 
All I seek for is peace. I love you and have taken love with us, my sister. We can come together and unite this family and everyone will enjoy it. The prince will soon marry me. I'll be a queen under you. If we don't make things right, it will be a problem. My dear, everything you just said is very much on point. But the problem here is Charles. He hates me so much. Simply because when I was newly married into this family, I tried to correct him. And instead of him to take the corrections, he started seeing me as a very wicked person. And since then, my issues sting him like a bee. So you see, it's going to be difficult. No, my queen. It's not going to be difficult. I'll make it possible. The king must live long. All these issues here and there will bring worries to him. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. But if I may ask, how do we achieve this? Charles wants to bury his mother in the palace cemetery. And it's not possible. It is possible. Only if you agree. You can talk to the king. If we all come together and agree, the king will have no option. A politician of repute believes in a new Nigeria and a new agenda of peace is possible in this palace. You mean you have this kind of heart? My father always preached of peace and harmony. He left his house when he was younger to so his younger brothers. Just because of this singular act, his family would have been the worst today. But look at them. They all come together and eat in one plate. We can do this here, my queen. Please, my queen. No, no, no. I beg of you. Get up. Come on, get up. You know what? I think I like you. Thank you. Thank you too, my queen. Peace will be better. Because peace is liberty, tranquility. I discussed something with my son. But I would like to think about it. Your Majesty, please, please. There is absolutely nothing to think about. Nothing to think about here. Majesty. I came here to plead with you, in fact, to beg you, to appeal to you, your majesty, to allow him bury his mother in the palace cemetery. Why? Is it too much to ask? Why? You see, Prince Charles came to me and told me in confidence that his mother appeared to him in a dream, crying profusely, crying. Ibe, you should know what that means. Well, he didn't tell me that. Besides, I've sent for a consultant from Enugu. When he comes, Charles will send for the twins. Let's end all this with a DNA test. Okay. Uh, Your Majesty, please. <laughs> I'm happy with this. Eh? I thank you for listening to me. Yeah? Ibe. Please, let us end this on a very pleasant note, please. There is no need dragging this matter unnecessarily. It doesn't make sense. Yeah? Let us have peace in this kingdom. Igwe, your reign shall be long and fruitful. Amen. Igwe. Yeah? Igwe.
Roots, did you recognize those two guys? Yes, I do. They are the guys Charles stationed around the house to monitor us. How do you know they're part of the boys? I know six of the courtes and Bullet is not one of them. Bullet? Yes. Is that his name? Yes. How can a normal human being be, be bearing such a name, Bullet? Listen, those guys are hit guys and be careful about who you greet. What of his friend Django? You know all their names. Ruth, are you okay? Listen to me, those guys have sold their soul to the devil. If not for one of them that came to inform me, who would have believed that Charles would stop so low in checkmating us? Sister, you know how much I hate that guy. Yes, he's our cousin, but I don't like his attitude. Especially the way he talks to Papa, you and Obin now. He feels we don't have anything. Yet his father came into our family and got a wife. Anyways, since his fiancé came the other day, I've been melting. Melter. <laughs> Please, let's go. Take this fan. Hold it very well. This year, go and kill the fowl. Then we use it with the yam and do porridge for me. That's a uh, uh, chicken porridge, mm? Thank you. and um, make it slightly pepperish. Uh -huh. And I know you will like it too. Uh, nobody, nobody is here to to suffer. Uh? Okay. No, but after all, nobody actually boasts with suffering. Uh, uh, Papa, the the queen was here a while ago. She said you should return her money. In fact, that you should come to the palace immediately. You return. It's urgent. Which money was she talking about? I don't know, Papa. You wouldn't have Go on. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 don't mind that blabbing thing. Go and do the thing I told you. Do it quick. I'm famished. Okay, okay, what is wrong with this woman? She says she doesn't want the remains of her predecessor, Queen Elizabeth, to be buried in the palace. And she paid me for the service. Am I not doing my best to, 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 to achieve uh, uh, her, her wish? Huh? Look, she should relax, so. She should relax. Otherwise, not only will the king hear about it and the entire kingdom, the Pope must also hear this. Nonsense. Hey. Oh, hey. Ah. And what exactly is going on in my room? So the both of you decide to sachet in here without knocking, huh? What if I was getting a deep tissue naked massage in here? I'm just saying. From who? Isn't that person scared? No, from a professional masseuse, like a deep tissue she naked put in the palace cell mm -hmm. what? with hunger mm -hmm. Why? until her hairs fall out mm -hmm. what hairs are you talking about mm -hmm. uh, it's just someone that i got there uh, sweetheart yeah that was somebody to you know like twisted veins in those the delicate are regions not dry. isn't the person scared why scared of what that person is a professional a professional female chinese <laughs> masseuse let me answer him correctly thank you there are hairs that goes with every asawa, like IJ here. Yeah. What are you two talking about? That particular one at Erija. Okay, both of you need sanitation. Uh, no, 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 no. You are worse than I thought, actually. You are worse than I thought. Uh, so, loveth. Yes. Your mother came into my room and took my mother's portrait and set it up, please. Now that's what happened. I told you that I was going to get to the ends of the earth. 
to find out what happened. Oh, she did? Yes, she did, and I'm not going to take it lightly. I already told you I was going to replace it. As a matter of fact, I spoke with the Queen and we discussed a lot. Peace will definitely return here. I can't be part of this place if things don't go back to normal. She's going to apologize to you. Trust me. Brother, please forgive my mother. If you look carefully, I do not support all the hatreds and bitterness here. And as Ijoma said, I've never for once enjoyed being a princess in this palace. Brother Biko, the only brother I have is not at peace with my mother. Biko, don't raise this issue in one name. Oh, I beg you, please. I know she's stepping out of her boundaries, please. I'm sorry. This will be better. Cause peace is liberty, tranquility. Do not let the behavior. Hmm. I want to know what is still delaying the burial. Last time your sister was here. I told her that you people should go ahead in your plans for the burial of Queen Elizabeth and then give me feedback from time to time. Although she complained about uh, uh, some cultist fools who were stationed by Prince Charles, your brother, to monitor your movements and activities, I promise her that I will see the DPO to that effect, which I did. But since then, I have not gotten any feedback. What is going on? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Ono, thank you so much for all your concerns and efforts so far. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Though, we haven't seen any police yet. It's not like I am afraid though, myself. But what about the innocent people that might be affected? We're only afraid of losing the innocent ones. <laughs> well, um, let us wait until the coast is clear. Are you saying that uh, those cultists are still parading your vicinity or what? Mm. Yes or so no. Though I heard the prince traveled, so I'm waiting for him to return. So I will face him squarely on that. I'm waiting for him. If he wants us to die, I am ready for him. Because I am ready to give it to him at any length. Hmm. Oh no. If it is for my mother's barrier to hold in that palace, that is a fat lie. Because it will never happen. It can never happen. Uh, well, you see, I am one of the palace chiefs who supported this your decision. And I still stand on that till tomorrow. Stick to that your plan. And don't allow anybody to cajole you into changing your mind on that. Do you hear what I say? Yes or no? Thank you so much. Oh no, we are the Ogono Gondo. You shall live long. Thank you so much, Ono. And one more thing. Uh, I promised you people some money for the burial. What if you collect it now? Because I know it's going to help you in the burial plan. Um, not now, no, no. I do not want to touch any money until the burial date. I shall inform you about the date soonest. Thank you once again. I beg to take my leave now, sir. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. 
Hey. What am I going to tell the queen? Huh? At least had it been that this boy collected this money. By the time I will be swearing, convincing the queen that I have been working, spending this money, I will know what, where I'm standing. Huh? A man who knows how to spend money does not stay with money without making use of it. Now this money is going down by the day. Well, uh, it is not over until it is over. I will, I will continue in my effort to make sure that Queen Elizabeth is not buried in that palace, whether you collect the money or not. My prince. Oh no. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You called, I said that I should be here as soon as possible. All is well, and you did well in coming promptly. Um, who is the young, beautiful woman by your side? Hi, oh no, I thought you met her already. Nene eh? German. Uh, uh, no. My, my wife to be. I. I have not met her before. Uh, is she from this kingdom? Sweetheart, this is the owner of our kingdom. Eh? Greet him well and tell him who you are. Greetings, sir. My name is Ijomaike Madwako from Oram village, the daughter of the former local government chairman. From the legendary Kemadwako family, right? Yes, sir. Good family. <laughs> Good family, you my friend. You see that I have eyes. You have eyes for good things. You don't blow your trumpet. Allow me to say that one. Eh? I support this one. Dala. I support it. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Having said that, my prince, I have invited you so we can um, discuss the extent to which you have gone in handling the issue at hand. What issue, no? You know what I mean. You are no longer a kid. Are you referring to the issue that concerns the burial of my mother? Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh no. Yeah. You see, I have decided to rest on that matter for now. I, I am plotting something. And uh, until we set the ball rolling as a family, I have chosen not to talk about it anymore. You mean you are plotting involve an aspect where I, the know the traditional prime minister of the kingdom, should not be in the know? Oh no, you would agree with me that the burial of my mother is also a private family matter. Okay, Wata. Eh? Uh, you <laughs> are going to know what we are doing once you see the outcome. I. I understand very well. Nobody will argue that it's not your mother, your private, and some some mother, but she is still our queen. Oh, why should we should it turn uh, But oh no, we don't forget that she was first my mother before she became our queen. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no Wubiko. Uh, let uh, me take this beautiful woman somewhere. You remember when you were my age? Let us live life a little. Uh, but you know me. I am going to be in touch. No? You have every right to go and, uh, <laughs> and, and do whatever with your woman. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. I've heard you. I don't know. I've eh? heard you. No love for my own. Uh, I will. Sweetheart. Except for the fact that you have kept, put me in a cliffhanger. <laughs> mm. You'll be all right to know.
this place is really quiet. Oh, okay. You know, Did you not see me? Did you not see me? Uh -huh. If I see, what will happen? Malato Luma, will I decode when I see you? Please, I don't want to hurl out. As you can see, I'm on my way going out before you start with this or slapping. Uh, uh, jide, jide. No, Jide, Jide, Jide. Take it easy. Yeah. I'm your cousin. Jide, for, I, I'm serious. I am your cousin. We are, we are related. We are connected. It's okay. Me? Yes. Jide, for. Mu, Jido for your cousin. Jido for I am your cousin. I have no. Jesus, see you, Jesus, see you, Me, your cousin. Ha, hot how I don't understand. Jido for. I know that I have not been very good to you. I know that I have been a bit tough and hostile. Maybe I was just blinded by my strong desire, you know, to give my mother, your aunt, a befitting burial. And I just got carried away and hurt the people that are close to me. Biko, one name. Baaluzia. Forgive me. Biko. So you could be this soft? Eh? So you could talk like this? Yet you come here to humiliate and insult your mother's only brother? My father suffered for your mother when she left the palace. Yes! He, he, he suffered. He, he was the one catching for her. I but not no 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 be I I I I I I every time. Eh, you came back from my brother and took her to the hospital. But we were the one that was there for her. We suffered. Look, we na pale no wake mad. I na awoni na no. Hold on, mama. It's not good. Hold on, mama. It's not good. I am ashamed of my actions. I I agree that I overreacted. But be cool. Huh? If you don't forgive me as my family, who will forgive me? Huh? It is time for peace, Jidolfo. It's not time for war. Please open up your heart and accept me as your brother. Biko. So that I can make up for lost times. <coughs> I'm sorry I hurt your feelings the way I did. I'm sorry. In all honesty, I'm not a bad person. It's just that sometimes when you want something and you really want it, you, you go overboard. And with you and Obina and Amaka and our uncle, I went overboard. And I'm sorry. Oh, Jide, please. Eh? He's sorry. We are sorry. So calm down, okay? Where is it, yo? Biko. Biko. I know it's, 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 it's been tough on all of us, Biko. Please forgive. Enugo. Butu, Butu. No one make Ibo. Eh? Butu, Butu. Eh, Biko. Eh. What did you do? It is well. Uh, how are your, where are your brothers? Okay, Obinna. Okay, uh, I think they went to the mortuary. Ah, mortuary. Yeah. Do you know where this mortuary is? Mm, this is somewhere down. The, I don't know. I haven't been there. But why? Ha. It goes in the I have phobia for dead bodies. So. Let's see how Jebel later. <laughs> it is fine. Please um, let them know that I came here. Okay, so I will. I let will. Obina and Amaka know that Igwe, the king, wants to see them uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Okay. It is very important. Hi. One more. Uh, <laughs> it is fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, Thank you. Right. It is fine. I'm happy. Uh, I'm also happy. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kevin, uh, okay, I'm going to see a friend. Uh, I'm going to buy it. Let's drop you. Eh, uh, uh, you guys uh, go drive out. So let me lock the gate. Uh, 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 let me. I was so surprised, though. I was so surprised because. He was so cool, so calm. He even called me his cousin. Yes, so he even hugged me. Ha. I, I, I began to remember 
what we passed through because of the late icon. Because of a queen with a heart of gold. Why no bioma? Nya oji ni e mogo. O wusi makego. I cried though. I cried. Eh? I, because I began to remember the good old days. The days we don't go to school. The days we all gather together to, to pray. Uh, so, hi. Oh, well. How many hospitals did we take her to? All to no avail. The doctors tried. I didn't know there are blood pressure and sugar level that doesn't go down. And we lost her. If he came here with a change of heart, that's good. But it does not change the fact that I hate the prince. Cousin or not, I don't care. Listen, all of you should listen. You see that girl he brought to this compound? That girl is God sent. I am 100% sure that that girl is the reason for all the changes. Within uh, the problems we have been having. I'm telling you. Just like uh, Jidor, for you, you said. Uh. <laughs> now. Yeah. That the prince said the twins should come to the palace to see him. So let us just wait and see the outcome of the whole thing. Please a step forward. Thank you very much. Ah. Uncle, if it is about my mother's barrier in that palace, <laughs> then he must be joking. Yeah. Oburu no no maka kwa muzu nnem obi eji dofo oma omi nka omi nka ozo then he must be joking he must be joking because my mother's body will never enter there never my own is you should come and remove those those vagabonds he mounted around this house what's that guy's name again bullets bullets you should just ask them to leave this will be better <laughs> It is what you should have conducted years ago. And now this woman is late and she died with that grief. I think I advise you on that. Then my son was young and I was raging with anger. Doctor, what does it cost? To have a DNA test. Well, Your Highness, the analysis is done mainly by using blood sample via polymerase chain reaction. We call it PCR method. Although we could still use other samples like eh, putum or other blood flu body fluids, but in this case. We properly need blood. Sample. The reason I called you, because I know you are the only one that will give me what I want. Tell me the exact truth. You are aware of what transpired between me and my wife. The moment she left the palace, stories started flying around that she was having some escapades with one engineering side worker who was a drunk. Your Highness, we have enemies everywhere. They are everywhere. Anyone can say anything. This is a woman who was once married to a king. There is no way she should have stooped too low in having a drunk as a friend. Probably this engineer or a worker must have been a friend or something. Remember she had these children. Ten months after she left this palace. Oh, let, let's see how it goes. I wonder what is holding these children. Because I want to end all this. I have peace of mind. Your Highness, let me ask you something. If after this test, it is proof that these children are yours. What will you do? Well, then when we get to the bridge, we will cross it. We will cross it? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay by me. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it.
is why are you here? We are here on King's invitation. The King wants to see us and we are here strictly on his invitation. Are you sure? Because I'm not aware of that. I have no prior knowledge to that. Huh? Yes. You mean the King tells you everybody that comes to the palace? Of course he does, especially when he has to do the appointments. I should be aware. <clears throat> well, maybe he's keep his mind, but we are here to see the king and the prince mm. strictly on their invitation. Mm. Yes. Mm. Wait, to You are not just going in there. Have I permitted you to walk in? Now, listen. If this is on prank, I'm giving a prior warning because if you go in there and you are not here on appointment, you will not like me. You invited us to come. Dr. Richard, the Queen's twins. Okay. Honestly, this is the second time I'm setting my eyes on them since they were born. Yeah. We are going to conduct a test to find out who amongst your mother and the king who is right. And this test will confirm if you are the children of the king are not. Shall we? Uh, uh, doctor, please just wait. Uh, Your Majesty, what test is he talking about? Um, we were told that the, the prince came to the house and asked us to come to the palace, but not for a test. I asked him to invite you. Dr. Richard is from Enugu. So, uh, he's here to conduct the test and Give us the outcome. Your Majesty, the most important thing to us right now is for us to bury our mother. It's over three months her body was dumped in the mortuary. The entire community knows us as the children of the drunk. Even though we don't know the drunk, but we are fine like that. We are fine like that. Now, Your Majesty, tell me, what difference will this test make? Will it change anything? Yes, surely it will make a difference. We are going to conduct this test because every other family is still doing it. And it is good to do it so you know where you belong. The king said he is not your father. And your late mother said, he is. You can see the confusion there. So it is good we conduct this test so you know where you belong. Even if you don't have anything to do with the palace, you can still bury your mother from anywhere you are staying. Your Majesty, please, can I talk to my brother outside? No, you can. Upina, Upina, don't you think this is their plan to kill us? Amaka, you are right. This flashed my mind. I can see a plan from Prince Charles' face. He wants to kill us and bring Mama's body here. Hey, so what are we going to do now? We have to go and stay on our own. Since Mama gave birth to us till now, the king never asked of us. Now he's demanding to conduct a DNA test. I think it is best we go. 
But we can't just live like that. It will be disrespectful. Obina, listen. I think it's, it's better we go in there and ask them so many questions. Yes, let us be sure of what they want to do to us. Come to think about it, if really they want to find out if that so-called drunk is our father or the king is our father, it's to our own betterment, right? But let's be sure of what they want to do to us first. Amaka, you are right. But for now, let us go. Let us go, Abe. Are you okay? The king summoned you. You cannot just leave. Let's go inside. It's okay, it's okay. If you insist, no problem. Come, let's go. So the love test is the reason why they invited you all to the palace? Yes, yeah, so okay. that was the reason. But thank God that we have done it. Ah, uh -uh, let everybody rest. Everywhere, every time, every day, children of the drunk, children of the drunk, children of the drunk. Let me see how possible it is that my mother was lying against the king. Let me see. The result will be out, right? I'm waiting. Nah, you see, you see, you see this issue, eh? I will not rest though. I will not rest until the result comes out. Eh? It's a, it's a good thing that the king invited the doctor to run the test himself. And let, let, let them see for themselves now. How can you be in car? Mm. Well, even if it is the king or not the king, hmm. My life will not change. No joy since childhood till now. Trouble here and there. Uh. Well, let's wait for the results. Bye bye. Is anybody home? Yes. Hey, Amaka. Ah. Good job, How are you? I'm fine. <sighs> See that. Thank you. What about your brother? Mm. Mm, he's not around. He went to Amaka to get something. Oh, okay. Um, I learned the both of you were at the palace yesterday. And some test was conducted. Yes, we were. But how did you know? Do you now live in the palace? No, your brother told me. Oh, okay. At least I am happy the test was done. And as soon as the test result filters out, everything will be back to normal. I am also happy that very soon Unity will be back in the palace. And everyone will enjoy it. <sighs> Look, Amaka. You are a woman like me. And there is this thing that flows when there is peace. Some men might want to come close. But when they think about the stories behind your mother having children for a drunk, it will look like it runs in the family. Ijoma, you made a lot of sense. You know, it worries me how a man will be able to broadcast his wife in such a way. Yes. Do you know, when I go to the market, I see people pointing at me, people gossiping me, but I do not care to know what they are talking about because I know it is either this is a daughter to the drunk or uh, the mother was, was a former queen. It's always the same story. And trust me, I do not care anymore. What concerns me now is how my mother will be put to rest, and that's it. Yamaka. Just pray the result is in you and your brother's favor. <laughs> I don't understand. I should pray. Pray for what? Listen, Ijoma, I don't care. If the result is in our favor, fine. If it's not in our favor, it's okay. Like I said before, what bothers me is how my mother will be put to rest and that is it. <sighs> fine. No problem. But please. Let us forget about everything that has happened in the past and focus on the future. Own name. Okay. No problem. I'm good. 
<laughs> so what do I offer you? Nothing. I'll be on my way now. So soon? The king has finally gotten Dr. Richard to conduct the DNA test. Have you heard about it? And I'm not even aware. But when did this happen? Uh, a few weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> a few weeks ago. And the result is out? I uh, don't really know. I don't know because um, I've not been to the palace for quite some time now. But one thing I am sure of, Queen Elizabeth is innocent. You can say that the second time. Oh. Well, I went to the palace and I told the king what he don't want to hear. And he got infuriated. Though I don't care. And since then, my legs have not been there. And for how many years now? And it is now that the beautiful queen is no more that the king decided to do the needful. Well, I wish him good luck. Good luck on what basis? On the basis, on the basis that he's now back to his senses. Two, his children will come back to him. Good luck that he has finally ascended to an age-long advice he ignored, listening to his mother. Ichiya Uzoka, hmm? do you know that the king's mother was a twin? Yes, and her twin sister is still alive. A very old woman. And the king refused the twins. A golden-hearted queen born for him. Are you aware of that? Wait. You are telling me that twin is actually in his lineage? Of course. Oh, that means the twins in contention must be the, the, the products of his highly industrious loins. Really? It is okay. Did I have bush meat in my mouth? Why did they reject them in the first place? Why? You can say it even before the king. That means these children are actually the products of his highly industrious loins. So why is he rejecting them? Why did he reject them in the first place? That is the question you need to answer it. It's been two weeks since we did that test and we haven't heard anything about it. Does it really take that long? Amaka, uh, <clears throat> what is the name of that doctor that conducted that test? What is his name again? You mean Dr. Richard? <laughs> Dr. Richard. Amaka, you not Dr. Richard. Do I look like Dr. Richard? Why are you asking me such questions? What concerns me on it? Obina, do you know you are so annoying? You made me remind you the name of the doctor just for you to say this nonsense. Huh. Amaka, what concerns me in the test? If they like, let that test hold them up to 10 years, 20 years, 100 years. It doesn't concern me. What concerns you there? Amaka? I'm not bothered. Like you said, it doesn't concern us, so I'm not bothered. It's just that normal test takes days, but this one is taking weeks. What are they testing? Amaka, hmm? they are testing human being, not fowl. They are testing a whole human. They are testing to see if the drunk is truly our father. They might even find alcohol in our blood, which will justify their thoughts. So don't let that bother you. Don't let that bother you. May we dare as we deal. Obina, you're not serious. I've always known that you're not a serious human being. Mm -hmm. Don't mind them, Amaka. Don't allow that to worry you. It is only in movie you will see such suspense, not in reality. This is the doctor I told you that conducted the test. And he is here to give us the outcome. Okay. Doctor, you're welcome. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. Is she your daughter too? I don't know her. <laughs> well, you were overseas when uh, I married my beautiful wife. That blessed me with love it. My adorable Adugo. I prefer Adugo. She's beautiful like a mother. Thank you, Doctor. Well, uh, Your Highness, the test I conducted was very bit difficult, but not as much as I expected. Please, uh, Your Majesty, what is the name of the twins? Uh, I think they mentioned the names to me, but I've I've forgotten now. Uh, Charles, please help me. Obinanamaka. Do you not have the names on the result? <laughs> I have the names. I just want to know if the king knows the names. Hey, like I said, my king. The test I conducted was okay. It was good and very straight one indeed. The molecular shoes that King Omenka the fifth of Omona Kingdom is. These twins they have royal blood. That is to say, you are the father of the children. You can see by yourself. So through the years, Father, all you did was alienate me from my siblings, my blood. Lied to me that my late mother was a cheap whack who got entangled with a village drunk and gave birth to two kids who are not yours. But what do we have today? Staring us in the face. The truth. I flew back to this country and I had a chance to talk to my mother. And I began to say the truth, but it was rather too late. There isn't much I can do about my past father, but there is a lot I can do about my present and my future. If we're gonna know, gonna go out call. I draw no Kambele. Obina Alamaka. Are your children. And my mom. Who was still married to you till death because you never took back the bright price you paid on her head. Is still your wife, even in death. So you'll agree with me that I should carry on and plan a befitting burial right at the palace cemetery for my mother. Please calm down and hear me out. I want to apologize for removing your mother's portrait from your room. Mm. Please, please. I am very sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know. My heart was so bitter. I don't know what came over me. I am sorry, please. 
please. I also want you to fix a date for your mother's burial. I am no longer against her being buried in the palace cemetery. Please. Thirdly, I want you to bring back your siblings to the palace so we can live as one family. They need to be here with us. They belong here. Besides, you are the heir apparent to the throne. Please. If you don't mind, I will suggest you speed up your marriage plans with Ijoma. She has the purest of hearts and she will make a good queen. <sighs> Once more, I am sorry. I am deeply sorry. Piko, Okuloka, forgive me. Onam Piko. Please. I'm sorry. Biko nam biko. Biko. Peace will be better. Cause peace is liberty, tranquility. Do not let the behavior of other people to destroy your inner peace. To where so No, no, no. I can help Ah! <laughs> the prince. She agreed to you, sir. Obina! Amaka! Call others! The, the prince is here. Mm. The prince is here. Today I come to love and not to fight. Today I come to celebrate and not to fight. For over time we have fought ourselves, not even knowing where we're coming from or where we're going with this battle. But it gladdens my heart that finally the truth has indeed seen the light of the day. My brothers and my sisters, it makes me happy to call you all my family. I am here for I bring good news from the royal palace of this kingdom. The test result conducted shows that indeed Amaka and Obinna are truly children of my father, the king. And I think that we should celebrate as one big family and stop fighting. Celebration, you said. Charles, did I hear you say celebration? 
What are we celebrating? Are we to celebrate the fact that Mama was humiliated and thrown out of the palace? Are we to celebrate the fact that Mama was cajoled? What is there to celebrate? Well, it is fine. At least, I am happy. Thanks to God that at least you will not call me son of a drunk again. I thank God for that. But as for celebration, I see nothing to celebrate. I see nothing to celebrate. I have been worried about the test result. But thank God the truth has finally been revealed. They said we are products of a drunk. They said after Mama left the palace, she dated a roadside worker who they called a drunk. And I said, I know my mother. I know what my mother can do. I told them, I know the woman that gave back to me. I was ready to swear on behalf of Mama. But thank God, the truth has been revealed. So now, who will tell Mama that she's innocent? Who will console Mama in the mortuary? Who will dance with my mother? Who will wipe away and tears and tell her that Mama, everything is fine now? My prince, what is there to celebrate? When the woman that was accused is lying in the mortuary, what is there to celebrate? When the woman that was accused cannot stand up and dance in victory, what is there to celebrate? When my mother cannot speak, she said it severally that she was innocent, but nobody listened to her. Nobody. So I ask you again, what is there to celebrate when the market women that mocked her, abused her, cannot look at Elizabeth and say we are sorry? What is there to celebrate when my mother cannot dance in victory? And you talk about celebration? Do you know that each day and night my mother cannot sleep? She cried day and night and prayed to God to be vindicated. Who knows what gave her BP? Who knows? And you talk about celebration? There is no celebration without Elizabeth. There is no celebration without my mother. There is no celebration, my prince. There is no celebration. There is no celebration. We also had this blasphemy. Thank God for today. Who's going? Let me see any file. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Well, um, Mama's body was deposited in the mortuary at Trust in God Hospital. Well, you can go there when you get there, meet with the mortician. He will release Mama's body to you before you leave. I will give you the receipts. If not for this seizure, <laughs> this truth may have never surfaced. But thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. At last, 
we are vindicated. At last, Mama is vindicated. Thank God for that. Hey! Mama, you are innocent. Elizabeth, you are innocent. Mama, you are innocent. My mother is innocent. My mother is innocent. Mama's house, you go. My mother is innocent. Oh, yes. My mother is innocent. Elizabeth is innocent. Elizabeth is innocent. Tell the whole world that Mama is innocent. <sighs> Hmm. So finally, the king is the biological father of the twins. Hmm. Hmm. See, eh, do you know that? Will you believe me if I told you that this thing has been occurring to me for long now? Mm -hmm. hmm. I've been seeing this thing since now. Is you... Honestly, do you know that I have prophetic tendencies as you see me here? My father is aware now. Why are you laughing? Mm -hmm. eh? Even the king knows. But I was just contemplating, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? I didn't know if I should meet him. But now that is true, eh? I may just resign you know, because this palace is beginning to scare me. Things happening around me. <laughs> yeah. Is it funny? Never see anything. Oh. Abe, since when did Ike now start taking kind kind? Hmm. What was that supposed to Prophetic calling. Hmm. Yeah, prophetic calling. <laughs> Why did you not allow Odumeje and Ko to be taking your place? I make shift, Joe. It's not your yeah, fault. I'm, I'm happy for this experience. Do you people know that I've been looking for my dad for years now? Yeah. <laughs> I never even see photographs of that. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking for what you don't have? All those your cool you don't know your father. They have been doing in the palace. Oh, okay, so yeah. 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 A man, grown up man like you, you don't know where your father is. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you, are, you have said it with your own mouth. You are very, now. very stupid. Mm. You are mad. Mm. See, 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 Oma. That we are here to love us together. There's no cough and insult. Don't insult me. Okay. Can, 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 can you imagine? It's okay. You guys should. Begging. This is not what we are talking about. I am happy that the twins are the king's children. And soon, they will pack and come. My problem is who will increase my salary. Yeah. How did you say? You heard me. I'm not going to do you have sense at all? Yeah? What we are discussing here, what has it got to do with salary? Huh? The one you've eaten, look at, has it, has it reflected on your body or same salary? Simple. If you point at me again, am I your age mate? See, finish, because I'm here with you in this palace. I huh? had a get of pepper. Eh, eh, eh. I know, man. Do you know how many years I've served here before you came here? Excuse me. More people, more job. We already have the prince and love it alone, and we don't rest. Additional two is an issue. So please, we need to raise our volume on the salary, or I quit. You're too like. Oh, no, no, men are you wrong. Oh, wow. What you're saying is true. Ah, mm. That's the fact. But you will have to quit alone. Yeah. Have you heard that the incoming prince is a fine man? <laughs> he might even look my way. Yeah. <laughs> and for now, ah, my dear, I give you my blessing, but you have to go alone. Mm -hmm. Look your side. Mm -hmm. Because you are tall. Wait, wait. Tolo, tolo. Mm. Look at you, then go up. Uh, I don't know how to face the children that I abandoned at child bed. To them, I am a bad father. Uh, you are a mother, Goseka. Advise me. Dear Majesty, the whole problem lies on the fact that the woman is no more. And that is the most painful aspect of this whole issue. The Queen was called all sorts of names, especially Sugar West. And she is not like that. Your Majesty, all I think you should do now is to call the twins, talk to them, speak to their minds. I think they will understand. They make time to see each other, my too. That will go a long way. There are certain decisions one takes 
in his lifetime that will certainly turn around to hunt him. Honestly, this is one of them. Uh, uh, I don't want... Uh, you can go. Thank you. Okay, Majesty. I did all I could for my sister not to marry the king. Because the king's mother never liked her at all. And it affected her. You people should listen. Especially you, Amaka. As a young girl, never have the thought of marrying a man you think you love. Because at the end of the day, the family will get involved. The king's mother tried all she can to frustrate my sister because she couldn't conceive immediately after Charles. She had issues with the king's mother and the king sent her out. And we went there. You couldn't have sent her out simply because um, she has an issue with your mother. She had a mother too. In fact, all of us here have mothers. You took a blue you took a blue cat, Gwagoku, Mulu Kata Gwagoku. Okay then, get out. Idiot. She has a mother too. Yeah, I have a mother too. Which mother? Is your mother a queen? Come and take this rotting egg out of this place. And never you bring her here again. Then give me my son. Which son? My son. Royal blood. Is your Are you royalty? Come on, will you walk out of this place? Sir, boy, sir. We shall see. We shall see. Come on. Come on. I took away my sister, having the hope that the king will change his mind and come back. But he didn't. Then one day I went to see him. Yes, what is it? Why are you here? Since my sister left this palace, you have not been asking about her, her well-being. Are you not aware that she is pregnant for you? Pregnant for who? For you! And she needs attention and other things to take care of her and the pregnancy. May you a madman. A roving madman. So it has gotten to the extent of extorting money from me under the guise of pregnancy. Mm. <laughs> you a thief. Is she not your Sarah! wife? Someone that just left my palace not long ago. You are not telling me she's pregnant. How? Huh? How come she's pregnant? Is she not your wife? You stand a better chance of explaining the whole issue. Leave my palace. Listen. I said leave my palace. I have been tolerating you. It's not a sign of weakness. But a sign of maturity. If you walk me up again, you will see the better side of me. Imagine this stupid woman that just conceived for me seven years ago. She just left my palace. And here you are telling me she's pregnant. Is that not a concocted story? 
Go and tell that to the beast, not me. And other insults from the king. He refused to come and collect the bright price he paid and was ordering me to bring it to the same palace where he has been insulting me. I refused and the war started. Uncle, Mama already told me all of this. So now that it's confirmed that he is our father, what do we do? I know he is your father. My sister confided in me. And I wouldn't doubt her. But Uncle, who is this drunk everybody is talking about? Mm -hmm. And what does it really have um, to do with our mother? Um, that is rubbish. That is rubbish. After a few months, she came back and was not doing anything. She came to me one day that she wanted to be busy doing something. And by then, her stomach has protruded. I gave her some money to start the business of selling palm wine and bush meat. Then, she had a lot of customers. One of them was a Ghanaian, who was an engineer and drinks a lot. That is it. Uh, but uh, forget that story. Forget that story. Hey. Mm. Hey. 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 And Charles will call me and be, and, be, and be ranting. Children of the drunk. Children of the drunk. Children of the drunk. And I've been wondering who this drunk was. <laughs> Uh, beloved. Yes, Daddy. This is your sister. Mom Rugochi here is my wife. I married her when your mother left. My children, let me apologize to you. On behalf of myself and the royal stool of my forefathers, I am deeply sorry for all that I cost you all through these years. I have failed as a father to you. I allowed emotions to be cloud my sense of reasoning. I listened to gossip. and forgot to do what I am supposed to do as a father to you. It is a taboo, I know. I am the custodian of culture. It is a taboo for a royal to stay away from the royal palace for this long. I take the blame. Please, Come back home. This place is your home. You belong to this place. Let us allow every discomfort we experience at night to be that of mosquito. We forge ahead. I will do everything within my powers to appease the soul of your mother, my dear wife. Elizabeth, your mother, my dear wife, will be given a full royal burial. She'll be buried at the royal cemetery. So please forgive me, my dear children. <coughs> um, Amaka, Andubina, you've heard your father, the king. 
please. He is deeply sorry. In fact, we are sorry. Forgive us. I have my own shortcomings too. But to err is human. And to forgive is divine. Come back to us. You belong here. Let us unite and live as one family. I know it is not easy. Please. We are sorry. And one more time. Charles. My prince. Please. I am sorry. Forgive me. Um, thank you so much, Your Majesty. I accept your apology. And I also appreciate you for accepting our mother, even in debt. But I'm not coming back here. Why now? To be called a prince or royalty. I cannot come back now. I have not been here for many years. So, I'm good where I am. Your Majesty, I stand with my brother on this one. The good thing is, we are no more the children of the drunk. But we will only return to the palace when we go to the market and the market women say good things about our mother. When they reverse everything they have said against us, then I and my brother will return to the palace. Uh, please agree with me if I tell you that their anger is justified. I mean, I was angry myself um, when my mother was described to be a whack who reduced herself to sleeping with a village drunk and gave birth to a sort of twin. That today, the world know as your children. But um, we are going to rest on that topic for now. As for Amaka and Ubin, I can assure you that um, they are my siblings, quite all right. And after the burial, I am going to find the way to their heart, talk to them, convince them appeal to them to come back home for this is where they belong huh it's okay father you can you can rest easy i have this under control and to you my stepmother hmm. we can start all over again we can be one big, happy family. I say all the time, love is not fantasy. Love is a decision backed by conscious action. I want you to know that I've accepted your apology. Nobody is saying, no, sita, 
other babu. Huh? Where's his head and Kiruka? What lies ahead is greater. Thank you. Going forward, I want you to know that I would never refer to you again as this woman. <laughs> Neither would I ever call you my stepmother. For you are now my mother. And I'd love you like I loved and still love Queen Elizabeth. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I am happy about this. The king apologized. Yes. This melts my heart. I just wish they could change their mind and come here and reunite with everyone. It would happen. I'll make it possible. They can't stay there forever. That's their mother's father's house. They don't have a say there, but right here, in this palace, their father's home, they have a voice. But now that's a mission I will embark on. After I gave Queen Elizabeth a befitting burial. You're truly a fighter. Am I? I love your fighting spirit. And what exactly? Mother's a supreme. You fought for her even in death and won. At least your mother will be buried in the palace cemetery. Who could have done that for the queen? Queen Elizabeth lives on. Ichi Onyema, my queen. So the palace has become the devil's zone that you no longer visit. You've been avoiding the king and I. I contracted you to execute a plan, which you never did. And instead of you to open up and tell me the truth, you started dishing out lies upon lies. Where is my money? Uh, my queen, I, I will come to the palace. It is no longer necessary. I'm here now. Listen. Your title will be taken off you. Because you're not a straightforward person. I, I say I will come and see you in the palace and then I, I, I explain the truth about everything. Please don't be annoyed. I know I have lied to you, and that is why I found it difficult to face you. Forgive me, but, 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 but I, will, I will make it up to you. You will make it up to me, you said. Really? Yes. When you've squandered all the money. Not even a penny to mess family, as I instructed. No, no, as a matter of fact, I try my best to, to convince them to accept the money, but they, they say no, that I should keep it till after the burial. Really? Yes. So where did you keep it? Listen. Transfer my money back to me at once. Else, you will not like me. Trust me. Transfer the money back to her. Has a deity ever returned the sacrifice? I've done my job. Well, it all ended well. The king called me this morning. I was apologizing to me. In fact, if if all for go be was apologizing to me. You know, when you tell a man the truth, and he begins to think otherwise, what well, happened then? I stopped going to the palace. Since I stopped going to the palace, what has moved on? Nothing. Nothing has moved on. Even in Anyo Koko Pei. That's it. And uh, by the way, uh, do you know that uh, the queen 
gave you two years and some money. Yes! She gave him some money to make sure that the late queen was not brought to the palace. Oh yeah. He ate the money. I'm just hearing this for the first time. But did he ask her to give him money? For where? <laughs> Kevin, then he has not committed any offense. The woman just wants to spend her money out of envy and jealousy. Let me tell you, if she had given me the money, I will eat the money and even praise further to make sure that the queen was brought to the palace against her wish. All this vanity ends in this world. Oh, good job. Well, you're right. Uh, anyway, how that one is over. After now, we know that uh, the king has two sons and two daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, on the day of the burial, we go there and pay our last respects. So, yeah. Of course. The date and the day has already been fixed. The next eight market days, up will be. become one in love. Eh? <laughs> uh, 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 it's well. Peace will be better Cause peace is liberty Tranquility Do not let The behavior Of other people To destroy Your inner peace To wear a soft oh. Finally. 